to the broadcast booth with the voice of the River Dragons, Tom Callahan. And hello, everyone. Welcome in. It is time for Columbus River Dragons hockey. A little Sunday matinee hockey action for you here coming to you live from the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum. We appreciate you all joining us here as Columbus taking on the Mississippi Seawolves in what is now known to be a first-round playoff preview. That's right. It is the final matchup of the regular season between these two teams. And these two teams will meet again in the first round of the Commissioner's Cup playoffs. And so is there a little extra weight to this one? Well, maybe, maybe not. And I'll explain my schools of thought as we get through our Air Force Heating and Air pregame show because there are two ways you could play this one. And uh, when we chat with River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard, uh, we're going to explore that a little bit as well. But, of course, coming into the playoffs, the River Dragons have now wrapped up not only the Continental Division title, but they've wrapped up the FPHL league title. So they do have home ice all the way through the playoffs, no matter how far they're able to get. And, of course, hopefully the River Dragons are able to compete for that Commissioner's Cup, but they will have home ice against Mississippi. And we do now know that game one of that opening round playoff series will be played Wednesday, April 17th, right here at the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum. Game two will be back in Columbus on Friday night. And then, of course, if necessary, a game three would be played on Saturday night. So right now you can pick up your seven-game playoff packs starting on Tuesday at 11 p.m. Eastern, or 11 a.m. Eastern. We're not putting them on sale at night. Single-game seats go on sale. So, again, that's April 9th, 11 a.m. Eastern. You can pick up your single-game playoff tickets. And, of course, round one, as I mentioned, that first home game is going to be Friday night. That'll be game two of the series. So coming into the game here today, the River Dragons have wrapped everything up, but are uh, on a little bit of a skid here. And Columbus, 38, 7, 3, 3, and 1, 125 points. They've got everything well in hand, well wrapped up by now as they come into this game. They are 7, 3, and 0 oh in the last 10. And again, their goal differential is head and shoulders above anyone in the league at plus 123. They've been playing very well all season. And right now, Columbus is doing a couple things. They're resting some guys, which, by the way, we're going to talk about because that continues here today against Mississippi. But also uh, just, you know, trying to find some maybe some combinations, getting some of the younger guys in there, some of the rookies, some more experience down the stretch, especially on the defensive side. And Mississippi comes in 16-28, 3-3-2 on the season. And that's 61 points that got them in the playoffs here. Blue Ridge and Baton Rouge eliminated, and so the Seawolves are the fourth seed and, again, the first-round playoff opponent for the River Dragons. So that's a look at the head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams tonight. And so Columbus in a spot right now where, uh, you know what, getting a few guys some work here, and we expect Hunter Verostic to make the start in net for Columbus among the those guys getting work again. We should see both rookie defensemen in the lineup here tonight in Layton and Anderson, expecting them to both be able to go and a couple of guys who did not make the trip, which we're going to talk about in a minute. But first, we need to get to a break, which we will do right now. This game is going to start just past the top of the hour, so there is plenty for us to talk about, and we will do just that as the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show rolls on here from the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum. Back with more in a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Ah! 
Get internet. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. All for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. And welcome back here to the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum. Tom Callahan here with you on a Sunday afternoon. We appreciate you being here for the matinee edition of Columbus River Dragon talking. And as I mentioned, the River Dragons already in the postseason. But you know what? Uh, after wrapping everything up, now it's time for Columbus to take a little bit different look at some of the guys, some of the combinations for this River Dragons hockey team. And yesterday being Legends Day, uh, the River Dragons had a lot going on at the Columbus Civic Center. And by the way, I want to take a moment to just say thank you and appreciate um, everyone who took time out to come be a part of the day. And it really was a day because with the Legends playing ahead of time, I, I was so impressed by the size of the crowd, by the hockey fans in Columbus who come out and appreciate their hockey history and, of course, love their, their hometown heroes and their longtime favorites and maybe even some of their new favorites. And uh, we really appreciate you being a part of Legends Weekend. It was fantastic. Great attendance for the Legends game before the River Dragons game against Blue Ridge last night. And, again, just cannot say thank you enough from an organizational standpoint. Uh, the fact that we got to honor so much of Columbus's hockey history yesterday was fantastic and uh, just very thankful for my chance to be a part of that, just as well as everybody else here. So, uh, boy, great, just a great day. All the way around. Of course, yeah, a little marred by the fact that Columbus didn't win. But a lot of guys resting yesterday. And so I want to get into that a little bit here. And, in fact, uh, you know, it was kind of a, a refreshing change but an interesting one with Jerome Bichard not even behind the bench yesterday because of all the duties he had going along with this weekend. And, by the way, tip of the cap to Boomer. He's the one who puts it together and does a fantastic job of putting this whole thing together, the alumni weekend and bringing all the legends in and trying to just, I mean, it's like herd, herding kittens, and he does a great job at it. But yesterday, I mean, Boom was in the concourse signing autographs. I was talking to him. He said he was out there for at least an hour and a half signing autographs with everyone, and a lot of the legends were out there and doing a meet and greet and, you know, just getting to co-mingle with the fans. It was just a fantastic day all the way around. Some of the guys still live in Columbus, but some of them don't. They come from all over North America, wherever they may be. One of them happened to be in town because he was coaching the other team. <laughs> so you never know where life's going to bring you. But, uh, you know, it's it's pretty funny to have those guys out there, and it's great to see them being a part of something. And, uh, you know, and again, so to the point of resting guys yesterday, Josh Petrantonio and Justin McDonald, not only did they not play, but they coached yesterday. They were behind the bench for the game, and Boomer uh, attending to his other duties with the uh, alumni side of things. And so that was a switch, certainly for the River Dragons. They also didn't have Nolan Slahek in the lineup yesterday. Now today for Columbus, a couple of uh, different switcheroos here. So it's going to be Hunter Verostek, who does play goal today, backed up by William Lavalier. So Brennan Colgan gets the day off. He doesn't have to dress. Also getting the day off, Carter Shinkarik. Alexander Jemayev, they are not in the lineup here, but back into the lineup here today for the River Dragons. And also, by the way, uh, McDonald also not dressing again today. But Josh Petrantonio returns. Uh, then you get Slahetka back into the lineup as well here today. And the River Dragons, again, will have both rookies, Parker Layton and Hugh Anderson, in there defensively. So uh, all three of the rookie signings here down the stretch for Ostick, the goaltender. They'll all be in. And so that's the lineup shuffle for the River Dragons today. I'm sure you're going to see a couple of different combinations. And once again, uh, you know, no McDonald between Moore and Hunter. Uh, yesterday, we had a little bit of a, a different look. But again, Jemayev, who was playing some center yesterday, he is not in the lineup here. So we'll see how the Lions are going to kind of work themselves out as the game goes along. And you may see a little bit of moving around. But 
the other thing too, and it's it's an interesting, and this is why I wanted to talk about: is this a true playoff preview? Some ways, yes. I expect that from the River Dragons' perspective, the Sea Wolves team that you get here today is going to be very much what they're going to throw at us in round one, game one. For the Sea Wolves. Not only are you not seeing the number one goalie, you're not seeing the number two goalie, or the 1A and the 1B. You're not seeing either one of them. You're seeing Verostic. You're not seeing Justin McDonald, the leading scorer in the league. He's not in the game. You're not seeing Alexander Jamath, who's uh, one of the, the deadliest snipers on this River Dragons team, and a guy who, I mean, really, even even with a stretch, here's the crazy part about the numbers on Jamath when you go back and look at his goal totals. He ends up, well, he's not done yet, but 29 on the air. So he's knocking on the doorstep of 30. That is second on the team. And he went through a stretch where he got a little cold in February and March, and he started to pick it back up again here down the stretch. But I'll tell you what, I mean, that's that's a guy who could put the puck in the net. Second best goal scorer uh, on the team. Ryan Hunter's got 28 right now. But here's the other thing about the River Dragons that's fantastic. You take a look at the guys who've cracked the 20-goal plateau for this hockey team, and you've got McDonald with 43 leading the way. Hunter, 28. Kyle Moore, 22. Austin Doe, 22. Cody Wickline sitting on 19. He'll hit 20. Josh Petrantonio, 27. Jamaif, 29. Alex Storjahan, 22. Carter Shinkarik's at 16. It is conceivable he gets to 20. So if we just, we'll, we'll say, okay, Wickline gets in, but even so, right now, just current 20-goal scorers, the River Dragons have four already. Or, pardon me, they have seven. I'm just doing some math here, but they have seven 20 goal scorers on this team, like an eighth on the doorstep, and a potential ninth in Shinkarik, who has played 99% of the year on defense. So there is a lot of depth of scoring for this River Dragons hockey team. And the fact that you're going to see some line shuffling, you're going to see guys moved around, and uh, players, as I mentioned, will rest here, rest there. It's not the preparation game that the Seawolves maybe had hoped for. I'm sure that Columbus next weekend against Carolina is going to be back to more of a full roster uh, and heading into the playoffs trying to sharpen it up and get everybody back on the same page. But for now, it is about the luxury of having to be able to rest. It doesn't matter. I mean, Columbus can go 0 for the rest of the way, which hopefully they don't, but they could, and they're still first overall. So that's a luxury. Columbus played hard all season. The points in October count the same as the points in April. They played all season to get to where they are, and now they have earned the right to be able to rest some of those guys and make sure that the bumps and bruises heal, that they are healthy, that they are rested, that they, you know, have that energy back heading into the postseason. It's not a bad place to be. In fact, it's the place everybody in the league wants to be, have it all wrapped up and ready to go. So the River Dragons head to head with the Mississippi Seawolves here. As we're counting it down in this Air Force Heating and Air pregame show, we'll take a break right now. When we come back, it'll be time for the out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Zelmo's Zippin. Not too bad in the league today. A couple of games going on, but, of course, there's always NHL Major League Baseball action to tell you about, and we'll recap last night's action and men's college hoops. We now know who our national title combatants will be. That game is tomorrow night, and uh, I know there are a lot of college basketball fans in the area, and uh, we'll talk about that as well when we come back. So stay tuned. There's plenty more coming your way. And River Dragons and Seawolves just past the top of the hour. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. At BEAM, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? 
Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our testimonials. And welcome back here in the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. Tom Callahan here with you. Thanks to everyone joining us here on a Sunday afternoon. River Dragons at Seawolves for the final time in the regular season and uh, this season Columbus once again I mean last year they only lost once to the Seawolves this year so far it's a total of 12 between these two teams and in the first 11 Columbus has gone 10-0-1 so the River Dragons would like to pick up a few more points here and uh, maintain that dominance over the Seawolves final game of the regular season between these two and then after this Columbus is wrapped up with everybody except Carolina Three games coming up next week, the 11th and 12th of April in Carolina, and then back home on April 13th. That is Fan Appreciation Night. It is the final regular season home game of the year, and it's our final Chick-fil-A Midland and Kissin' 99.3 Family Four Pack Night. So make sure that you check that out because for just $40, you get four tickets to the game, four hot dogs, four popcorn, four Pepsi products, and Four coupons for Chick-fil-A, over $100 in value, just $40. Take advantage of this great deal. Brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland, Kissin' 99.3, Buffalo Rock Pepsi, Brewster's Ice Cream, and the Columbus Civic Center. So again, April 13th, Fan Appreciation Night, the last family four-pack available only through the River Dragons offices. Call 706-507-4625. That's 507-4625 to order yours today. Let's take a look at that out-of-town scoreboard, which is brought to you by Zelmo's Zip, and Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999. One game going on earlier today, and they're in the second period now, and actually almost to the second intermission at Danbury Arena, where the Hat Tricks are out to a 5-1 lead over the Elmira River Sharks. And uh, Elmira trying to close out that final playoff spot. Doesn't look like they're going to make up any ground on that here today. But, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, it's going to come down to the wire, River Sharks and the Watertown Wolves. And then tonight, the other game in the league at 7.05 Eastern is Binghamton at Watertown this evening. In the NHL, we actually have one final from earlier today, the Detroit Red Wings 3-1 winners over the Buffalo Sabres. In the second period, right now the Minnesota Wild up 1-0 on the Chicago Blackhawks. Kirill Kaprizov is 40th of the year. 5 o'clock Eastern, you've got Blue Jackets at Hurricanes. 6 o'clock, Coyotes at Sharks. Senators at Capitals. 7 o'clock, Predators at the Devils. Canadians at the Rangers. 8 p.m. Eastern time, Blues at Ducks. And 10 p.m. Eastern, the Stars are at the Avs. Major League Baseball, in the bottom of the ninth inning, they've gone into a delay. The Marlins up 10-1 over the Cardinals, but uh, I can't imagine they would not call that game in the near future if it comes to that. In the middle of the ninth inning, it's Yankees 8-3 over the Blue Jays, and actually that should render that game final. Uh, that would have been the Blue Jays around the road, so that would have been the last at-bat. All right, so Yankees win that one 8-3. Rays 3-0 over the Rockies in the top of the seventh inning. Also in a weather delay right now, you got the Cubs leading the Dodgers 6-0, bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the third, one nothing Padres over the Giants. Middle of the third inning, Red Sox 3-0 over the Angels. One later start, Astros at the Rangers. That's the Sunday night baseball game. Other finals from earlier, Pirates 3-2 over the Orioles. Nationals 3-2 over the Phillies. Braves 5-2 over the Diamondbacks. Mets 3-1 over the Reds. Athletics 7-1 over the Tigers. Royals 5-3 over the White Sox. 
12-4. Brewers top the Mariners, and the Guardians and Twins were postponed today. And then, of course, as we mentioned, men's college hoops, well, it's a 1v1 showdown tomorrow night for the national championship. Purdue and UConn going head-to-head. -head. I know Alabama fans were very hopeful that their fourth-ranked Crimson Tide would be able to pull it off, but UConn just a little too strong in the end. A tremendous run, however, I will say, for Alabama basketball. Boy, what a great season they had. But just coming up a little bit short. So UConn, Purdue, tomorrow night for the men's national championship. So congratulations to those two squads as they uh, battle it out for College Hoops supremacy. All right, so that's it for our Zelmo's Zip-In out-of-town scoreboard. Coming up next, it's our chat with the River Dragons head coach, Jerome Bichard, and then we're going to drop the puck. A little Sunday afternoon hockey here at the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum. The Seawolves hosting your Columbus River Dragons. Stay tuned. There's more of the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show coming your way on River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic Mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. <laughs> Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Welcome back to the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. Tom Callahan joined by River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard. Boom, thanks for joining us. Final game of the weekend here against Mississippi, and we now know this is actually a first-round playoff matchup for the River Dragons. I kind of know, I've gotten to know you over the two years. I don't think this is going to change anything about the game today, but i got to ask you anyway, does it change anything about the game today, knowing uh, this is your first-round opponent? Yes and no. I mean, it's uh, kind of a double-edged sword. I don't want to not play... Uh, the way we usually play, but we're gonna try something different. We, you know, we're gonna leave a couple guys. We left a couple guys at home, getting some guys some rest down the stretch. I don't want to come into the playoffs, um, you know, kind of limping in, kind of not on a, on a winning winning note. But uh, um, I think rest is probably more important than that type of thing. So. Uh, change some things up today and you know three and three on the road which you know I think uh, really most of us and three and three with travel on the road you know more and like more times not it's three and three uh, in Motor City or this and that's not too bad or, or third ones at home type thing makes it a little bit better but um, come in you know cut let's uh, let's play energetic when we have it and when we don't let's sit back and let's uh, play a little rope a dope and let them come through us and Hopefully they uh, hang themselves and we uh, we pick some honey holes and we, we get some uh, opportunities out of it. I know that uh, you did get a chance to get a look at uh, a bunch of other guys playing together. And as you mentioned, I mean, yesterday, no McDonald, no Petrantonio, no Slahetka. Uh, and just seeing a couple of different combinations out there. Anything stand out to you? No, not really. Unfortunately, last night at Legends, I really didn't see a whole lot of the game. I saw the third period. Uh, um, you know, it was really uh, it was really cool on that end just to uh, be with the guys and actually uh, 
sign autographs for about two hours. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't my, I, at that point I was ready to be back on the bench. Right. Uh, <laughs> but no, it, it was good that way. But, you know, uh, you know, I think they uh, got a couple good bounces in the first period. They came out with a little energy, got us on our heels. Uh, I think with us sitting a couple guys, that gets us out of the sink a little bit. Um, and really the third period, I thought we played fairly well. Um, I think uh, the goal that was uncalled or called back, I think, was probably a goal, and some of the some of the non calls I thought were uh, were pretty uh, pretty bad. Um, so um, I think we do pretty well in the power play, and when you don't uh, get any, it's uh, tough to win some games sometimes. But uh, we're good on we're good five on five and on the power play, and uh, you know I think with. Resting some guys last night and uh, changes, you know, I think we were just a little out of sync. Let's talk about the Legends, though, because, I mean, that game yesterday, the crowd was massive for the Legends <laughs> game. It was almost as big as the game for, or the crowd for the game on, on Saturday night. Yeah, you know what? I mean, uh, there's a few boys out there that could probably still play, um, me not being one of them. Uh, but, uh, you know what? Every single guy, guys came uh, from as far as Maryland, uh, you know, British Columbia. Quebec, um, all these guys flew down on their own on their own dime, and uh, they just cherish the time in Columbus. So, hats off to the fans. Half to you know, hats off to uh, Martha Moore, Paul, and Wanda, uh, and Shelby uh, for starting that legacy. And then, uh, you know, I think we only we had uh, two legends uh, from the River Dragons, Paul Frigio and Adam Vanelli, and uh, those guys would be two of the guys that could still be playing, but. Uh, uh, they were there, and you know, and, and you know, I'd like to thank Jeff for uh, continuing the legacy. That's absolutely fantastic, and the fans, the fans loved it. I mean, that the response is tremendous still, and Columbus loves its hockey. Yeah, and I got a, I think I got a couple bruises uh, from <laughs> last night. Uh, tell you, I, Tom was really, Tom Wilson was still pretty mad from last year because <laughs> uh, he came out, he came out in my little strap there. It was supposed to be kind of fun. He came out really. Guns of Blair and up there. <laughs> um, anyways, but he did end up uh, having a little, a uh, little blood on his nose. So uh, I won. I won the fight. I don't care how bad it looked or whatever. But you know, he was bleeding, so I won. There you go. Yeah, never lose one in your heart for sure. Absolutely. All right. Well, let's come back to keys to the game tonight. Well, I think we need to capitalize on our opportunities. We need to keep uh, play the play the game simple. You know, road game like this is. The, I, I need a, a prototypical road game. Just off the glass and out. You know, have nothing, let's dump the puck in, go get it. Uh, if we don't got a good four check, let's trap. If we got it, let's go. Um, and then just eliminate turnovers and uh, hopefully capitalize on theirs. All right, boom. Thanks for joining us. Best of luck tonight. You bet. Thank you. Back with a drop of the puck in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability. So for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. 
Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. At Beam Side, the optical shop. It's time to drop the puck. Columbus River Dragons Hockey is brought to you in part by Chick fil A Midland, Buffalo Rock Pepsi, Tim Hortons, Columbus Diagnostic, Shredaway, The Overby Company, Vector Ply, Trivioli's, The Jersey Shop, Beam TV, WIBU Christian Television Network, Troy University, Largeman Dental, BKI Accounting, The Optical Shop, Piggly Wiggly, Sun South John Deere, Wade Cleaners, Houston Clinic, Amber Crombie Bonding, First Franklin Financial, and Old School Barbershop. Now it's time for the Chick-fil-A Midland First Period. Here's Tom Callahan. And we are back here in Mississippi at the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum. Tom Callahan here with you getting ready to go. The Sea Wolves and the River Dragons for the final time this season. These two teams going head to head. We're about ready to get the Sea Wolves introductions down there on the ice here in just a moment. River Dragons already out, seated on the bench and ready to go. So while we've got a moment, let's do a little bit of housekeeping here. First of all, let's take a look at tonight's starting goaltenders. And starting in net for the River Dragons, we already told you it's the rookie, Hunter Verostic. He's 1-0 on the year with a five goals against, 844 save percentage. And in his first pro start, got his first pro win. This will be start number two for him coming out of Liberty University, where he played five years there. Meanwhile, for the Seawolves, it's Joe Shepard. Shepard at 916, 0-0 on the year with a 4.65 and an 880 save percentage. And kind of interesting that the Seawolves have three goaltenders listed on the roster. Blake Weirich is now back on the roster. And they also have Austin Meehlin. A rookie goaltender who, coming out of junior hockey, and we'll see if he is backing up or playing today uh, in any way. But, of course, he needs to get to his five games if he's going to be playoff eligible, and right now only has two on the year. But Shepard is going to get the nod. And, of course, Weirich has been the number one in the past but just has trouble staying healthy. It's been difficult for him. So, Rostick and Shepard... The goaltending matchup here today as the Seawolves and the River Dragons getting set to go head-to-head. -head. And your referee introductions are brought to you by the Optical Shop in Phoenix City. You should see the game they're missing. Right now, the Optical Shop, for just $99 and a bag of chips, you can get two pair of eyeglasses. Your referees are number 34, Brian Cole, number 52, Todd Greenberg, Linesman number 18, Jonathan DeSalle, and number 77, David Johnson. Let's send it on down to the ice for the national anthem. Tonight is Alexis Miller. in the books before we get ready to go here this afternoon. We thank you so much for joining us 
Tom Callahan here with you, the Seawolves and the River Dragons. Final time of the regular season, but we do know these two teams are going to go head-to-head -head in the first round of the FPHL playoffs in the quest for the Commissioner's Cup. Reminder, single-game seats go on sale Tuesday, April 9th at 11 a.m. Eastern time through the Civic Center box office and online at Ticketmaster.com. But you can still pick up your seven-game playoff packs. Assure yourself the same great seat for all of the home games in the River Dragons playoff action here. Columbus has shown up the top seed all the way through to the Commissioner's Cup final if they're able to get through. And, uh, boy, that's a big one for Columbus. Home ice advantage in this league. Home ice advantage has proven to be absolutely huge. Just like at last year's playoffs, home teams really did all the damage. And uh, not a whole lot of games were won on the road. Columbus was one of the teams in that first round series against Motor City that did manage to win on the road. But, and especially you look at the final, Carolina won the first two at home, went to Danbury, dropped three in a row. Hattricks ended up winning the title last year by winning the last three. Carolina just could not win on the road. All right, we're underway. River Dragons will roll right to left in front of our broadcast location here. And they'll start off by moving it ahead. River Dragons in the white road uniforms here. And it's Sequoia Swan along with Ryan Hunter and Kyle Moore to start things out here. Layton out there on defense along with Kirk Underwood as it's dumped in. Shepard will handle it as it's flung around to the far side. Seawolves in the blue home uniforms today. Up on the right side here, Stoya walking his way in. A shot and Verostic had that one deflect out of play. Not sure if he got a piece of it, but rattled its way around and out. Face off will stay inside the River Dragon zone. We get our first whistle just 30 seconds into this first period. This afternoon's first period is brought to you by Chick fil A Midland. I want to say thank you to everybody who's come out to the Eat with the River Dragons events at Chick fil A Midland all season long. We appreciate you very much. Face off to the left of Frostic is one back. And Slahetka will feed it around to the right side. Columbus looking to break the zone here. Played ahead and now tipped down by Doe into the right side corner. Jay Krupp going in after it. Krupp up over after it. Centering feed. Petrantonio a shot save made. Rebound. Krupp stretching for it. He swings it back in front right through the slot out the other side. Up to the left point. Kept in. Duncan with a shot. Krupp tipping it wide. On the far side. Trying to move that out. Kleset. One of the... New players here for Mississippi, one of their junior age players, as that one is tipped down the ice, chased down by Slahetka. They wave off icing here. Mississippi up on the left wing here. Doe backhand across. That one is picked off at Lissio, moving in over the line, trying to move it ahead, just swept out of the reach of Koch. But Seawolf still pressing, now taken away. Duncan will flip a backhand out to center. Glove down there by Lind. And now back into the right wing. Lissio putting it in front of the net. Cleared right back off the glass. A bouncer to the line, and out it goes. Lindell toss it back in. Ends up on the far side with Slahetka. Bar up on him with a four check. Turned over there in the slot. Lissio down, looking for Bar off the skate. Wraps it around right through the goal crease out the other side. At the left point, puck kept in there. And the Seawolves continue to try to press the attack here. It's a pretty good shift for the Seawolves in the offensive zone. They do pull out to get a change, however. Kept it on the left wing side here. And they will go back to work cycling with some fresh players out there. Wong with a shot, tipped into the near side corner. And Columbus will golf that puck out and down the ice. And now giving chase, Klein's got to play it away there for the forecheck of Bersani. Ends up out to center, Wong tipped down by Stoya. Pop off after it. Talking to Pops the other night, congratulating him on his first professional goal last night's game. Fantastic to see him get on the score sheet. And just, again, you feel so good for a guy who's been here, worked his tail off to be in and out of the lineup, but just keeps working, keeps sticking around, and gets that chance in that first goal. Here's Ryan Hunter up on the left side for Columbus. Into the left wing corner, off angle shot. Shepard hugs that right post, and he knocks it away. Stoyle will wedge one ahead. Glove down there by Layton. Layton trying to turn it back the other way quickly to Hunter on the left side. Knocked away and chasing it back into the corner is Lucas Helland. Feeds it just past Kyle Moore. Seawolves just bank it to center. Anderson quickly over to the left side. Here's Layton. And it's flung in once again. Moore right in behind the Seawolves net. 
Lind on the far side, trying to play it around, bounces into the slot, kicked away from Moore and out to center. Three and a half gone here in the first period. No score in Mississippi. There's a shot in on Shepard. He elects to play it aside. And now back up the left wing. Starting the rush here is Lind. Portillo will take it and fling a bouncer in. And Verostic says, you know what, I'll hang on to that one while it's in the gear. Grab a whistle. And now we get a little bit of talking in front of the net, but not much. So uh, here's the other thing. Taking a look at the roster. There is a number 34 out there for the Seawolves. They do not have a 34 on the game sheet. So that's going to take a little bit of figure in here. We'll try to tell you who that is as soon as we can indeed figure it out. But 34 is not listed on the game sheet. Might have been a last-minute jersey switch for somebody. Sometimes guys rip a jersey or a number. And if we can figure it out by process of elimination, we will do that. Whoever it is is on the right wing side here. Lined up with his face off. You know who it could be? Well, no, it's, I don't think that's Austin Weber. There's a chance hit on goal and a big save right there for Ostick stopping Barr. And it's fed to the left point. Lynn keeping it in over to the right side. And tipped down low behind the net. It goes far side Barr out with it. Alicio pushed off the puck. And now Columbus wheeling back is Layton on the left side, forced behind his own net, gets it around towards Underwood. Underwood up the right wing side, had to go off the body of Moore, kept in by the Seawolves. They look to center, tipped away by Underwood. There's a chance, Lissio, that was blocked by Underwood. Nice job there. Hunter to center, will backhand that one into the far corner. Columbus to the change here. 425 into the first, no score. But the Seawolves have had a nice opening here at home on a Sunday afternoon. And now Petrantonio is going to go to the box as Wong. I think Petrantonio felt like Wong grabbed his stick and fell on it, but Petrantonio is the one going to the box. sure uh, what the indication was there, but 4.35 time the penalty. Let's see if we penalty pick up the call here. The River Dragons, number nine, Josh Petrantonio, is for holding. Time holding. And so the River Dragons, shorthanded here. There's a shot for Rostick over to his right to make the save. Seawolves' first power play of the game here. And they've got the momentum shot off the top of the crossbar. And in behind the net. Now in the high slot, it's pushed out. Bersani will chase it down. But so Petrantonio into that Abercrombie bonding penalty box while Duncan pushes up. Shorthanded chance for Brody Duncan. But he ran into too much traffic and couldn't get it through. Holding is the call against Petrantonio. Seawolf's power play is fifth in the league. As Swan up the right side here, trying to work his way in front. Knocked behind the net by Bond, around down from the left point. Hugh Anderson stepping in to keep it in. Stoya lost an edge there and went spinning right by the whole pile. Bond the other way. River Dragons killed, by the way, still first in the league, 86.9%. They've been in that top spot all season. The CO feeds it over to the far side. Seawolves in, they'll set it up. Stoya up top, over to the near side. Lissio now down low to Barr. Shot save Verostic, and he'll catch that and hang on. 41 seconds to go in the power play for the Seawolves. And we're going to get to a break here, 5.54 into period number one. Stay tuned. There's more coming your way. This first period of play is brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland. And this is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Hello there. My name is Seychelle. And what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is every single time you take a bite, you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. There's no touching it. Get internet. <laughs> 
get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. Face off coming up to the left of Hunter Verostic in net for the River Dragon. Scoreless here in the first period. 554 into the opening frame. The River Dragon shorthanded Petrantonio in the box for holding for the next 41 seconds. Face off again in the River Dragon's end here. Let's see if Columbus can start with a draw win. Nope, controlled by Mississippi. Lindell put it over for a shot that's blocked and sent right back down the ice. Lind is pressured in his own end here. And, well, now there's going to be a penalty on Sequoia Swan as he hit Lind. Lind was turning and playing the puck, and I'm sure Swan's going to get a boarding call here. I see that that'll be the call, but not going to not going to sugarcoat it for you here, River Dragons fans. I think that's, uh, well, they're calling it cross-checking. Yeah. I think the bar is a little low for what's considered a penalty in this game. So prepare for a potential parade to the box. Swan into that Abercrombie bonding penalty box, 627 into the first period. Five on three briefly here until Petrantonio's out of the box. Sewell's controlling the draw up top. Kosh over for the one-time Rostick save. Rebound again, and that one is cleared away. Boy, I tell you what, a little bit of help on the back door there from the defense kept that puck out. Now it's back to five on four. Portillo will swing it around. Sewell's on their second power play here consecutively. And Columbus looking to push it out. It does get to center. And the River Dragons kill. Almost four straight minutes of work for them here. They have 122 left to go in the cross-checking call against Swan. Scoreless in the opening frame, 7-10 into it. Jackson Bond is going to wheel back in his own end. Stoya, lead ahead. Portillo couldn't catch up with it. That's icing. Boy, Mississippi didn't have any urgency. Of the Seawolves goal, Stoya on the far side will pull that puck out and leave it there. Bond will bring it ahead. His pass on the left wing side. Wong kind of wedged himself into the boards there on the far side. So Lahetka puts a hip into him, and the puck is cleared on down. Person, or pardon me, Kyle Moore able to knock it free. Shepard out to play it, trying to call his players back to him, and instead he had to cough it up all the way down to Duncan. So Duncan has a moment. He'll fling it down, and now on the right side, Hunter was in offside. A little eager to get in there. That offside brought to you by Old School Barber Shop. They're online at Old School Barber, S H O P P E dot com. If your sides are a little off, get lined up at Old School Barber Shop. You can make your next appointment online anytime. Plus, book 24 7 through their Instagram and their Facebook. Old School Barber Shop. Reservations highly recommended. Here's Lind coughing it up at center. And now left side. Hunter will throw it into the corner on the left wing, and he'll go in after it. Sewell's recovering, but 24 seconds to go on the power play. Mississippi has not had nearly as much luck on this particular power play as it did, I think, the first time around. River Dragons clear it down again. and Maybe time for one more rush here for Mississippi, but looks like they're going to go 0 for 2. Stoyan to bring it ahead on the right side. He'll fling it into the far side over the head of Slahetka, chased into the left wing corner. Helen around to the left point. And onto the box is Sequoia Swan. So five on five hockey once again. Seawolf still set up though in the offensive zone with a shot in on goal. That is handled and held by Verostic. Face off will come to his right. 8 37 
into the first. Not a bad little crowd on hand here today for Sunday matinee hockey action in Mississippi. Faceoff will come to the right of Verostic. Shots listed 8-3 right now in favor of the Seawolves. And they're trying to line everybody up. No one wants to line up. Stoya wouldn't move, and so Bond just jumps out of the circle to get him to try to move, and now the River Dragons end up pushing that face off out to center. Mississippi trying to move the puck ahead, cut off at the Columbus line. Dumped into the Sea Wolves' end. Klein after it, pressured behind the net. Doe trying to turn it over. Puck to the far side. By the way, we found out 34 is Montanoc. Not wearing his usual 88. Here's Doe centering. A chance in front for Krupp, and I'm not sure what happened there. That puck might have jumped on him, but anyway, he popped it up over top of the net. Now Petrantonio in tight, stopped by Shepard. Krupp steals it back, feeds Doe left side. Backdoor feed off the goal post, they score! The redirect went off the post behind Shepard, and I'm not so sure that in spinning around to try to find it, Shepard might not have finished it off himself, but the goal is Jay Krupp's, and the River Dragons are on the board first. 9.22 into the opening frame, it's 1-0 Columbus. It is entirely possible that uh, that might have been a goal of Shepard's own doing, but Columbus will take it. So it should be Petrantonio and Doe with assists on the goal. And that is exactly how that one lays out. Well, you got to love it, though, because, I mean, the reason that goal happens is the River Dragons go into the net. So, absolutely, they got to keep that up right there. Pressure towards the front of the net. Good shift by the River Dragons, and it goes in fairly quickly. Now here's Storjahan up the right side. He'll dump that one in from center. Shepard will play it away. And now Storjahan picks it off. Left pointer's late, and he's got room. Tees up a drive, and a right pad saved by Shepard. Helen on the rebound. He'll get it far side. And the Seawolves. Look to move it on the left wing. Now on the right side, here's Lissio in over the line. He's rubbed out on the wall there. Puck free, Storjahan with it. Backhanded ahead. Layton, little flipper there back to the Seawolves line while the River Dragons change it up. Columbus, four-check pressure here, forcing an icing out of the Seawolves. Oh, I was going to say, are we going to get the whistle? We did. Okay. <laughs> Duncan back for the touch. 9.26 to go here in the first. one nothing Columbus on the J. Krupp marker. We're back with more in a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Hey, y'all. My name is Tierra, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A spicy chicken biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. I just love how the biscuit just matches perfectly with the spice on the chicken filet. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A spicy chicken biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. The chicken is always crispy. Then you add the spices to the chicken. Instant classic. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo zip in, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Passions. Back here at the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum, Tom Callahan here with you. Got. My intrepid producer, Drew Pierce, to my left. And Emily Skittles-Green helping out with camera duties today as well. As the uh, traveling road show is out here for the final time of the regular season. But again, these two teams, first-round playoff opponents. 
First game will be back here Wednesday, April 17th. Game one of the series, game two. First home game of the series will be Friday, April 19th at the Columbus Civic Center. Single game playoff seats go on sale Tuesday at 11 a.m. However, for the time being, you can pick up a seven game playoff pack through the River Dragons office with or without a credit rider. Give us a call to find out what option is best for you. 706-507-4625. Speak to a ticket rep today. 507-4625. Columbus pushing in on the left side into the Mississippi end of things. Here's Lind. Flips it to the line and off the mitt. That's legal in the defensive zone. No hand pass whistled there as it's fired in. Verostic's got to come out and scoop it around in the backhand. More up the wall for Hunter. Hunter breaks to center. He's got some traffic around him. Dumps it in. He'll chase it down into the corner. Lind over there after it. Now side of the net. Turned back by Columbus. Here's a chance for Duncan. Shot tip. They score. Duncan's shot was tipped in front by Sequoia Swan. And Swan puts that one in just past the glove hand of Shepard. Columbus up 2-0. 8.38 to go in the first. Boy, that was fantastic. Duncan had the puck up on edge, so the fact that he was able to direct it towards the net and towards Swan. I spice? Wait, who's that? But boy, it starts with that turnover in the zone and Columbus makes him pay. 11.22, time of the goal. So goals exactly two minutes apart for Columbus. And it's a... A little bit different vibe in here, I think, than the first five minutes of this hockey game. Mississippi really had a good start to this home game as there's an icing against the Seawolves. But Columbus kind of weathered that opening storm, and now they've been able to come back, and uh, uh, again, just different feel right now. And the River Dragons doing a nice job here. Just getting in on the forecheck, forcing turnovers in the corner. Kyle Moore. Also picks up an assist on the goal. Face off will be to the left of Shepard. River Dragons control, shot tumbling in just wide of the net. And that one comes around to the near side. Left point held in Anderson. And the slot, Krupp with the backhand blocked. Krupp up top, lost it. And now it's pushed out. Montanac to center. He'll carry it ahead on the left wing. Tried to slide it in front, but Krupp got back defensively to bank it away. Wong will feed it back to the D. That was just given up at center. Anderson to an open wing. Here's Krupp, left side. Rubbed out by Wong. Helland will stop behind his own net with it. Lucas Helland with a look up the middle. Here's Stoya. Cross ice feed, that's broken up. Petrantonio stretching for it, pushed it the other way. Anderson right back off the boards. Tied up in front of the River Dragons bench. Petrantonio chipping it ahead to himself. He is tied up and knocked down. Penalty coming up against the Seawolves. I don't know which one of the two they're going to get because there were two blue jerseys over there, but interference is the call. I believe it's going to be C.J. Klein. And indeed it is. He is the one who ends up in the box. Up here in section 16 with these lovely ladies doing the raffle and the 50 50 and the turn your back and I want to know. So two minutes for interference to Klein. Time of the penalty, 12-25, and the River Dragons go on to the Loft power play. The Loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stuff for a two-for-one deal on cover only at the Loft in downtown Columbus. By the way, check out the menu at the Loft. They have a uh, pretty tremendous kitchen. Face off coming up to the right of the Seawolves goal. River Dragons first power play of the game. They are tied for second in the league with the man advantage coming into this one at 27.3%. Seawolves kill is 12th, or pardon me, 9th. Heh, you can't be 12th in an 11 team league, but 9th at 75.4%. Moore on the left side, walks it in, his shot. That was deflected wide in front, comes around to the right half wall. Ryan Hunter out with Storjahan. Puck fed up top, kept in on the line. Slahetka to the left side to Moore. Moore looking up top, Slahetka. Hugh Anderson out there as well on the power play. Now the puck tied up, and it's pushed out over the line by Lissio. Anderson's going to go all the way behind his own net to set it up. 119 to go on the man advantage. 6.52 and counting to go in the first. 
2-0 Columbus in the lead. Slahetka at center. Yeah, kind of took a bit of a digger there and lost the handle on it. It's pushed back again into the Columbus end of things. Anderson will try the left side. Now here's Ryan Hunter ahead. Hunter wheeling it over the line, caught from behind by Wong. But Storja Hans right there to pick it up, waiting, feeds it back to the near dot. Here's more with traffic, his shot blocked. Comes back to him, gets it up top. Layton across, back near side to Moore. Moore walks in, his shot. Shepard way out on the angle to make the save. And he hangs on to that for a draw to his right. 43 seconds ago in the interference call against Klein, and we get some pushing and shoving. Stoya wants a piece of somebody over there. Stoya just will not let go. That's Storjahan. At this point, though, if you're Mississippi, I actually don't blame Mississippi because they're kind of already at a bit of a critical juncture in this hockey game, and they're going to put them both in the box. But you know that this is a first-round opponent. You know they're not dressing everybody today, and yet you're still down 2 nothing here, not out of the first period yet. You're shorthanded. Thirteen. 42 time of the penalties. Face off will be to the right of the Seawolves net, and it's going to stay five on four, so coincidentals. Although now they have four minutes up for both Storjahan and Stoya. That's interesting. Well, uh, let's see, they might have both picked up double minors here, but either way, it's not going to affect the, the flow. But, yeah, they have four minutes on each side. Well, now they took four minutes off the board for Stoya. And now, yeah, I think we're just going to, well, they're taking them off the board altogether. Doesn't mean they didn't get four minutes, but they took them off the board. Yeah, they, uh, well, no. Two minutes roughing. So let's catch the call here. Uh, so two and two. Two for slashing, or sorry, two for roughing and two for unsportsmanlike. River Dragon still on the power play here. As they set up, here's Leighton up top over to the near dot. Wick line. Quick line on the left half wall up top. One time late and a shot blocked in front. And it's cleared out and down the ice. And I'll tell you what, hobbling his way over to the bench. Montanoc paying the price for blocking that one. Five seconds ago on the man advantage. Columbus is going to drop the 0 for 1 with the power play. You got mail. Your sequels are in ball strike. That's another goal that's not turned penalty kill. And Columbus moving it ahead here on the left side. Swan tried to chip it in. It was in the linesman's skates. Back the other way come the Seawolves, but, well, no, they do keep it in on the right side. Lissio sending it behind the net. Up the right side wall, Lind with a shot for the point. Easy glove save there for Verostic as he catches that one and hangs on. 5.06 to go in the first. So the River Dragons do not score on that first power play chance. They did come close. And then we ended up with the two for unsportsman, like two for roughing against both Stoy and Storjahan. So they're just sitting in the box. They'll need to come back after a whistle. Five on five hockey here with a faceoff coming up to the left of the River Dragons net. Bar in for the faceoff, wins it back. Quick shot, and Coach put it to the glass. That one is sent back up the near side. Dill to Petrantonio. He'll dump it in from the stripe at center. Shepard out to handle the bouncer, flings it far side, gave it right up to Petrantonio, and he scores! Oh my goodness! Puck handling giveaway by the goaltender Shepard. I mean, pizza to go on the on the tape of Petrantonio. But here's the thing: that was a really difficult angle to score from. Petrantonio was pretty much on the goal line, but he fired it right away, and it goes. 
That's an unassisted marker for Josh Petrantonio. And 15.09 time of the goal. Wow. It's really interesting. You, do, you see the giveaway sometimes from the goaltenders, and yes, it can result in a chance, but it doesn't always go in. But that time, that was a very quick no-doubter by Petro. Back in comes Duncan trying to wheel his way into the slot. It's 3-0 Columbus here in the first period. As the Seawolves kind of creating their own problems right now as it's cleared back out to center. Duncan trying to flip it back, put it right to Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov in on the right shot of the shot. And, oh, boy, just missed the far post. Now the puck caroms right in front. And Vrostic says, I'm going to keep this. And Portillo trying to go to the front of the net, and he is met at the front of the net. He was just to help you Swan saw him coming towards Vrostic and stepped right in there. Portillo got a little uh, left jab in there. I think he's going to go to the box. I don't know if they're going to take Swan as well. But time for us to get to a break. 421 to go in the first. 3 0. We'll update you when we get back. This first period brought to you by Chick fil A Midland on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. I Spice? Wait. Who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm a starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. Or not. Huh, starry does taste better. <laughs> Hey y'all, my name is Tiara, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. I just love how the biscuit just matches perfectly with the spice on the chicken filet. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. The chicken is always crispy. Then you add the spices to the chicken. Instant classic. Beam, bringing East Alabama more. It's in our name. And we are back here. First period action brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland. Tom Callahan here with you. Thanks for joining me. Same big at River City Swing Sets, your local gorilla play sets authorized showroom offering lifetime warranty swing sets and basketball goals, swings, slides, and more. Check out RiverCitySwingSets.com for the full lineup. Get your big save at River City Swing Sets with free installation on any swing set purchased by saying, Go River Dragons. Well, how about go right back on to the power play, River Dragons. Second power play chance of the game brought to you by The Loft. The Loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stuff for a two-for-one deal on cover at The Loft. And so it is a roughing call against Portillo that lands him in the box. Here's Petrantonio up to the left point, Underwood. He'll set it up. Doe up top with it. Doe over to the far circle. Turning down the right wing wall. Layton feeds it side of the net. Krupa backhand in front is tipped into the near corner. Petrantonio moving it up towards Underwood. Underwood. Left half wall, Petrantonio. He'll switch with Underwood. Give it to him. Underwood near dot. Stops. Petrantonio up top. His wrister in on goal. Shepard save. Rebound sitting there. Wong clears. And it deflects to Bond. And now Bond trying to end for a shorthanded chance on the backhand. What a great job by Petrantonio to get back and take it away. Fantastic. River Dragons right back in. Doe will send it around the rim. Columbus actually getting a bit of a change in behind the play, but Layton steps up. Looking to keep it there. Boy, Josh Petrantonio, fantastic defensive play getting back to disrupt the chance for the speedy Jackson Bond. Kyle Moore carries it in. He'll feed to the left side. It bounces away from Doe's side of the net. Shepard trying to clear it. Ends up right back with Moore. Moore near circle. Curls, feeds it up top, gets it back. Moore, cross ice feed. One time, healed in on goal there, but held by Shepard coming to his left. Hunter did not get all of that one. Faceoff will come to the left of Shepard. 3.03 to go here in this first period. 3-0 River Dragons. 43 seconds to go in the roughing call against Portillo.
Wick line in for the faceoff. And he will swat it over, one off the skate of Moore in towards the corner. Wick line over there, Moore in that pile as well. They try to dig it out, ends up at the left point, but past Lahetka and all the way down the ice. Vrostic's got to come out for a stroll. And oh, he almost got himself in a little trouble there, but he plays it away. In behind the net. And now Columbus will move up the left side, and whoop, nope, turned over. In the high slot, here's Anderson. Rubbed down on the wall there, but the puck kept in again. Columbus, a little trouble breaking out. And try it again. Power play coming down to a close here with Hunter in over the line on the left side. In behind the net, Hunter pushed off in the glass, but he comes up with a puck, feeds it to the dots. Laheka backdoor feed, but Wickline was not expecting that as the Seawolves kill it off. And out the left side, here's a chance for Koch. Hooks it in front, a bouncing puck up in the air, they score. That's going to be Justin Barr's goal as he swats the puck out of the air. And it popped up and dropped in behind the goaltender, Verostic. That is a difficult one to give up. Not much that the goalie's going to do on that one, but it counts. And so it's going to be Barr. 17-53. Koch with the assist on the goal. And Mississippi on the board. It's 3-1. Fortunate bounce there for the Seawolves. Swan will move it right back the other way. Here's Storjahan at center. He'll send it back over towards Layton. Layton will fire that one in. Glove down and Helen right back out to center. Off the mid of Underwood there. And now Underwood loses it to Koch. Koch fighting his way in. Sends it in front. Here's a chance. Kuznetsov save made. Rebound over to his left. It's shut down by Verostic. Great stop there. Great sequence of saves from Verostic. And now somehow Columbus picks up a penalty on the play. And I think after the play. And it's Sequoia Swan going into the box and Swan did not look very pleased. Eighteen twenty-two, and the Abercrombie bonding penalty box goes Sequoia Swan. I don't know what they're going to give him. Might be on Sportsmanlike. High sticking is the call. So Columbus shorthanded for the third time already in this period. It's been a parade to the box here this afternoon in this first period. Five power plays already. Long shot in, knocked aside by Verostic. Here's Koch in the slot, leaves it right side to Bond. Bond into the right wing corner. Left off on the wall, and banked up to the right point. Koch with it there, but he gave it up in the slot, now moved ahead, and here's a potential breakaway for Bersani. He's in behind the D, Bersani in, and he was caught from behind. Couldn't get the shot away. Back ahead, fed to Portillo. He'll get it in. Kosh on the back. Can't try to feed it up top. That hit pop off right in the skates and is cleared back out by Columbus. One minute to go here in the first. Stoya at the line. Stick handles his way in. Stoya on the left wing. Cross ice. Wong near dot. His shot off the goal post. Mississippi keeping it in. 28 seconds in the period. Wheeling in the line. Anderson keeping it in on the right point. Tied up on the boards. 17 seconds. Columbus just trying to chew as much clock as they can here. Ends up at the right point with Stoya. 10 seconds in the period. He centers. That one is knocked away by Portillo. Stoya on it again out the far side. Five seconds. Cross ice feed. It hops away from Wong, and he's going to run out of time. So the River Dragons will have 22 seconds of power play time to deal with when they come back here. They'll have to kill that off. 
to start the second. And Sequoia Swan just wants a quick conference with the referee here before he goes off. And I'm sure he's still asking about how he got the high sticking call. But Columbus, for the most part, a pretty good first period. When you skate off with a 3-1 lead, you've got to feel good about how that went. So the River Dragons into the locker room here. And they do take advantage of what they were given by Mississippi. I think that's the best thing you can say about that opening frame for Columbus is they really did take advantage of the breaks. A giveaway ends up right in the back of the net, so you're making the Seawolves pay. But there's a lot of hockey to come here today. And as I mentioned already, five power plays between the two teams in just that first period alone. And I kind of wonder if that's the pace we're going to go at here today. But uh, that first period, a lot of power play time for both sides. So we shall see exactly how this is going to play itself out. But, no, well, we got plenty to get to here in our first period intermission report, which is coming up next for you. And our first period intermission guest today is going to be Ryan Hunter. We catch up with him and ask him about how the rookie campaign has gone for him. Plus, we'll have a scoring wrap-up for you and an out-of-town scoreboard update brought to you by Zemo's zip in, so stay tuned. There is more coming your way in just a moment, and this is River Dragons Hockey. Dragons Hockey. Managing your. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Welcome back to the Sun South John Deere First Period Intermission Report. Ryan Hunter joining us right now. 
Ryan, thanks for the time. Wanted to catch up with you here towards the end of your rookie season, uh, your first full year of pro. What are your thoughts so far, having gone through it? Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, we have a really good team, tight net in the dressing room, good culture, and uh, it's going everything as planned. Last year, you were one of the guys who got a chance to come play a few games, and then you end up coming back for the full season this year. Now there's a couple of those guys in the room right now. Do you talk to them at all about that experience and what you went through? Yeah, I do. I talked to a couple of the guys, and it was uh, it was definitely a learning experience, just the speed and the pace of the game and just playing that pro style of hockey and I feel like I've adapted pretty well to it now like having my full season under my belt. What are some of the adjustments you had to make? Definitely the speed and the decision like puck decision quickness and uh, just the discipline and that's pretty much it. It's been interesting uh, also you've been playing out of line most of the season with Justin McDonald, Kyle Moore. I mean you guys have had so much success out there. What do you attribute that to? Yeah, I, I would like to say I bring a lot of speed to that line and uh, my shot definitely. And I mean, those two are just so good with the puck. I just have to get myself in an open spot and good things will happen. Have you been learning things off playing with J-Mac? Yes, uh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> I imagine. What's he, what, what, don't give away the secrets, but what are some of the things you've come up with this year? Just protecting the puck more, like having confidence on keeping it on my stick and not forcing something that's not there. All right, Ryan, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Best of luck out there. Thank you. Back with more of the First Period Intermission Report in just a moment. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Let's go! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! time! Set the tone! Kyle, tell your shoes, tell your shoes. Yeah, good job! Woo! Yeah! Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. My dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just, like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. <laughs> And we're back here in the first period intermission report. Brought to you by Sun South John Deere equipment for those that do. Tom Callahan here with you, and let's take a look back at the scoring wrap from that first period. Columbus getting on the board first at 9.22 of the opening frame. Jay Krupp from Austin Doe and Josh Petrantonio. And Krupp tipping a shot in behind Seawolves netminder Joe Shepard. And whether Krupp got to the rebound or perhaps Shepard might have deflected it in himself, well, might be uh, one of those, uh, I guess, semantics at this point because it's Krupp's goal either way. But Jay Krupp credit for the goal. Number 22 at 922 from Doe and Petrantonio. And Columbus was off and running. 
And then just two minutes later at 11.22, the River Dragons make it a 2-0 lead. Sequoia Swan, a nice tip of a shot from the left point by Brody. Duncan Kyle Moore forcing a turnover at the far dot. Feeds Duncan left point. And Duncan shot on the way in, tipped by Swan. And now it's 2-0 River Dragons. It became 3-0 River Dragons at 15.09. Puck handling adventures with Joe Shepard as he went out behind the net to play the puck, fired it around to the far side, and waiting in that right wing corner was Josh Petrantonio, who just fired it into the net from a really bad angle. Right hand shot on the right wing corner, still put it in from just in front of the goal line. So credit Petrantonio for an absolute dart of a shot as he gets it just inside that far post. Unassisted goal, and it's 3-0. However, Mississippi to get back on the board at 17.53, Justin Barr bats a puck in out of the air over the head of Hunter Verostic. He was even tied up, had a little bit of traffic in front of him. I don't know if Verostic ever saw that puck. It went up and over and then fell behind him into the net. And so the River Dragons give up that goal. Hugo Koch the assist. 17.53 time of the marker, and it's 3-1 after one period of play. Shots on goal actually favored the Seawolves in that frame. 15-13 power plays. Both teams 0 for 2, and the Seawolves working on their third. 22 seconds of power play time carrying over for the Seawolves with Sequoia Swan in the box for high sticking. And so that is our look at the scoring wrap. Now we need to take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard here as well, and that is brought to you by Zelmo's Zip-In. Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999. Well, if Danbury wanted to put an exclamation point on their win over Elmira today, they certainly have. 8-1 is your final. Danbury over the Elmira River Sharks. And I'll tell you what, that's a favor to Watertown. Watertown plays Binghamton tonight at 7.05 and the only other game in the league. And so the question needs to be asked, can Watertown take down Binghamton tonight? They are playing at home. And Binghamton, Binghamton's been a little Jekyll and Hyde lately. So I know there will be a lot of eyes on that game. Uh, FBHL fans will be watching that to see how it turns out. But that's a big one in this battle, especially now that Elmira has lost. It's either Watertown or Elmira that uh, is going to make it into the playoffs, and the other team is going to end up playing a little early golf here. So they both have a lot at stake, and there's a lot of pressure on those games. In the NHL, a couple of matinee efforts, and earlier we had one final, Red Wings 3-1 over the Sabres. Late in the third right now, the Wild have a 4-0 lead over the Blackhawks. At the first intermission, Carolina Hurricanes 2-0 over the Blue Jackets. Six o'clock starts in the Eastern time zone tonight for the Coyotes at the Sharks, Senators at Capitals, seven Eastern, Preds at Devils, Canadians at Rangers. Eight o'clock, Blues at the Ducks, and 10 p.m. Eastern time, Stars are at the Colorado Avalanche. Major League Baseball scores for you. Game's going on right now, top of the eighth inning. Padres 2-1 over the Giants. Red Sox 7-0 over the Angels, top of the seventh inning. The uh, Cubs and Dodgers are still in a delay, bottom of the fourth inning. Cubs up 6 0 in that one. Later on tonight, Sunday Night Baseball is Astros at the Rangers. Everything else is final. Yankees 8 3 over the Blue Jays. Pirates 3 2 over the Orioles. 3 2 Nationals beat the Phillies. 5 2 Braves over the Diamondbacks. 3 1 Mets top the Reds. 7 1 Athletics over the Tigers. 5 3 Royals beat the, the White Sox. Brewers 12 4 over the Mariners. Marlins 10-3 over the Cardinals. Rays hold on to beat the Rockies 3-2. And the Guardians and Twins were postponed because of the weather. So that's our look at that. Zelmo zip in out of town scoreboard. And the River Dragons will be shorthanded when we come back here in period number two. 22 seconds left to go in the high-sticking call against Sequoia Swan. And again, want to remind everybody that although this is the final matchup of the regular season between these two teams, they will meet in the first round of the playoffs. Game number one is going to be Wednesday, April 17th here in Mississippi. Game number two of the series, the first home playoff game for the River Dragons, will be Friday, April 19th. Mark your calendars for that one now. And right now you can buy seven-game playoff packs with or without a credit rider. And River Dragons ticket representatives can explain your options to you and figure out which one of those is the best option for you. And then single game playoff tickets will go on sale 11 a.m. this Tuesday, the 9th, through Ticketmaster 
and the Civic Center box office. So, again, that's Tuesday, 11 a.m. Single game seats go on sale for the playoff games. But in the meantime, you want to lock in your seats for all of the River Dragons playoff action. Get your same great location and more. Give us a call, 706-507-4625. That's 706-507-GOAL. And uh, we'll be happy to talk to you about your options there. And uh, you know what? I know for season ticket holders, uh, a lot of folks do take advantage of the credit rider. And it does carry over any unplayed games to your balance for next year's season ticket. So that is a great option for a lot of folks. All right, break time it is. And when we come back, it's time for second period action. River Dragons with a 3-1 lead over the Mississippi Seawolves. Stay tuned. There's more coming your way on Columbus River Dragons hockey. Just the two of us We can make it if we try Just the two of us Just the two of us Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too, the $6 breakfast bundle. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. And we're back here for second period action. The Columbus River Dragons and the Mississippi Seawolves here for the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum. Tom Callahan here with you. Thanks for joining us. Second period action all season long is presented by WOW Internet. Proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 per month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! River Dragons hockey is also brought to you in part by BKI Accounting. BKI Accounting is a new age approach to old school accounting. They specialize in payroll, bookkeeping, income, and sales taxes for small business. Learn more at BKIAccounting.com. All right, so as we come back out here for period number two, 22 seconds of power play time up there on the board. And Mississippi has made a goaltending change. 
Austin Malin is in the net. And so he's going to get a little bit of action here, the rookie. We'll have to look him up. See what we can find out for you. Canadian goaltender, a 96 birth year from Calgary, Alberta, 6'0", 181. Out of Williston State College. And now in here with the Seawolves. So a new goaltender in for Mississippi to start the period and a chance right in on Verostic. Yeah, guess what? Penalty coming right up. There goes the rest of the power play. No, oh, no, that's just the ref's arm going up. Nope, there's a penalty. Yep. Jackson Bond's going to go in. Bond went through the crease right after that shot on goal. Now they're, they're telling Wong it's him. It was not Wong, but the referees are over there. I, they're, I thought they're sending somebody in. Wait a minute. Are they, they're calling something against Columbus? What is even going on at this point? Bond is going in. Underwood is going in. <laughs> Man. All right. Well. Yeah, Bond went through the crease, and he pushed whoever the, the River Dragons player was down to the ice, and I think it was Underwood, which is why I'm a little surprised Underwood's getting anything here, but it looked like they called Underwood for slashing. I mean, there's no reason anything should change. The first period was quite a few power plays and penalties being doled out. And, I mean, we have five power plays, but we even have more penalties. There were just some coincidentals in there. There's five seconds to go on what should be a Seawolves power play. Wait a minute. It's five on. No, it's five on four. Okay, so they're going to even out. There's a shot coming in from Montanac, blocked off the D in front. Now across his feet, Stoya scores just as Swan gets out of the box. Not a power play goal, but pretty close. Matt Stoya, even strength marker here, just 26 seconds into the second period. And it's a 3-2 hockey game. So five on five, back to it again. River Dragons will control the draw. But the Seawolves, some early momentum to start the second period. Here's Barr on the right side, leaving it back up top of shot. Fought off by Verostic, rebound! Hit on goal, Verostic holds, and then Barr is pushed into the net. Bring a little bit of a pile, and Justin Barr is going to have to be escorted out. Forty-four seconds into period number two, three-two. Your score, Columbus in the lead. Early goal here by Matt Stoya. Just twenty-six seconds into the period. By the way, uh, finishing up Boston Mill in the goaltender. No record, but has a 4.0 goals against, 875 save percentage in his little bit of action he's had here with Mississippi, but just no decisions to go with that action yet. So, But if Mississippi gets to three goals, he would be on the hook for the decision. Puck tipped down the ice. It'll be chased down by Lind. Back into his own end. They'll wrap it out the far side. Dumped to center. River Dragons on it there. Columbus trying to push back into the right side, but Moore couldn't get to it. Here's 
Here's Popoff ahead at center. Wong and Koch the assists. So Koch has his second helper of the game. Mississippi will set it up behind their own net. But turned over on the left wing side. River Dragons to the front of the net. Here's Swan to the slot. A shot that is blocked. And now back come the Seawolves up the right side. Pass was too far ahead. Lysio will just turn back to the bench, go for the change. Up the wing it goes to the point not out. Kept in there, pushing down as Klein. He'll shovel it deep around to the right side it goes. Portillo sending it into the corner, getting it right back on the wall. Try to feed it in front. Puck pops up in the air, comes down to the near corner. Now Duncan knocks down Wong. Crowd wanted a call there. And all well, the way things are going, you're going to get a couple more. Just be patient. Shot coming in. Verostic the save. And a full down on the puck. Hang on. 2.05 into the second period. 3-2. River Dragons in the lead. Draw will come up to the right of the Columbus goal. So they just announced it is, so it is Moline. Austin Moline is the goaltender. Seawolves, left side of your Stoya with a long shot in and a glove save for Austin as he found it through the traffic coming in. Portillo and Duncan exchanging greetings. Petrantonio in against Wong for this faceoff. And the puck down and one back by Mississippi. Here's Stoya up top with it. His shot hit traffic in front, ends up on the near side wall. There's a centering attempt. And that one deflected out the far side. Duncan spun around trying to get free of Portillo. Boy, those two are locked in a heck of a battle. Troop ends up with the right side. Try to feed it ahead. And now Slahetka and Portillo shoving at one another as the play goes through center. Bounced into the left wing corner. Stoya back after it. And now shoved towards the front of the net. Puck bouncing in the far side and unable to come up with it. The River Dragons couldn't get to it. Plesak clearing it out to center. And now, nice job by Slaheka to shoulder Portillo off. And Portillo standing there with his arms in the air wanted a penalty call. Instead, the River Dragons breaking the other way. But that puck broken up at the blue line. And now Petrantonio was hooked. That allows in Koch a scoring chance and a save of the right post by Verostic. Left side, Montanac keeping it in. There's a feed in front off of Slahetka. Goes to the far side corner. Around to the right point. Puck kept in by Mississippi. Now to the left side. Montanac with it. A wrist shot in on goal. Saber Rostick. Rebound right there to Leighton. He'll pull it out of traffic. Sends it around to the near side. And now Doe. Puck in his skates. Trying to move it out of there. Slahetka turning it back. Put it right in towards the goal. And, you know, not a bad idea right there. Verostic just covers it and hangs on. Lets his team reset itself here. 3.31 into the second period. 3-2 River Dragons. Columbus with Anderson and Popoff out there. Well, actually, Popoff's going to come out now, replaced by Underwood. And Bersani in for this faceoff with Wickline and Storjahan. Columbus scored the first three goals of this game, but Mississippi has chipped its way back. Puck ends up left point lane to shot, tipped way out of play. That one ends up all the way up on the concourse level. 3.36 into the second period, 3-2 your score. River Dragons leading despite being outshot 23-13 here. Columbus doesn't have a shot yet in the period. It's early yet, but Seawolves have come out flying around out there. Underwood trying to play it to the point, but the puck not out. But handed over to Wickline, and Wickline to center. He's got Bersani with him, leads it into space, left side, Storjahan. Looking in front for Bersani, pass is blocked. And the Seawolves the other way. They'll bring it in over the line, puck in front of shot, and Verostic to his right, a nice save right there on bars. He got the right pad out. Storjahan ahead, left wing. Wickline lost it and escapes. A little bit of a bobble. Seawolves will turn it the other way. Mississippi to the line, chopped up by Anderson. Back the other way, Bersani to the point. Storjahan up the left wing side into the slot. Leighton joining the rush. He turns around with a shot, fanned on it. 
But here's Brissani stepping up, bounces it to the near side, and Storjahan can't control it either. Now he jams it in front, comes right back to him. Another chance off the outside of the net. Goal light went on, but that was not in. Played off the glass and out to center. It's Lahetka turning with it. Right side, Layton, he'll fire it in. A little bit chaotic there in the Seawolves end. Played up that far side off of Stoya. And now Mississippi will break the center of the pass too far for Kuznetsov. That'll be icing. Until the faceoff back into the Mississippi end of things here. Not quite five minutes into the second period. A couple of uh, tired Seawolves out there with sticks across the knees. See if Columbus can capitalize here. Hunter, Swan, and Moore out, along with Slahetka and Duncan. Draw to the right of Moline. And the Seawolves win it. They wedge that one out to center, and it comes down right there in front of Duncan. They do get the change they wanted. Slahetka ahead to Swan. Swan pushing back in. Pass eludes Hunter. Goes into the left side corner. Moore up after it. They'll play it in behind the net. Swan on the near side. Now to the right point. Slahetka. Slahetka through traffic. Save made. Rebound in front. Sent wide by Moore on the back end. Moore out the near side. Turnaround chance. Save made by Moline. And the puck ends up in the far corner. Seawolves trying to clear it out. They can't. Another quick shot tipped wide. Swan off angle drive around the glass. It goes as he missed the net. And now the Seawolves out to center with it. Up the left side is Bond cutting into his right. Hooked it back across the flow of traffic and wide. Puck at the line. Held in by Montanac. Puck right in on goal. And that is held for the faceoff. By Verostic. That'll get us to the break here. Not quite six minutes into the second period. The River Dragons with a 3-2 lead over the Mississippi Seawolves. We'll be right back with more in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless spelling. Wow. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. All right, we are back. Second period action here. Brought to you by WOW Internet. Tom Callahan here with you, along with Drew Pierce and Emily Green. Face off to the right of Rostick. One back to the point, and that'll be kept in. Montanac down the left side wall, and his shot right in on goal. Rostick the save. Columbus scored the first three. Mississippi's clawed back with two. One in the first, one in the second. Here's Koch wrapping it behind the... River Dragons net, Montanac backing up towards the point of shot in front, hit his own man. Puck stays in for the moment in the slot. Now Columbus, chance to get it out. They do, Petrantonio ahead on the right side. Here's Jake Krupp, curls, waits, feeds Petrantonio in, and he was caught from behind. Puck is there, Doe, a shot block. Here's Popoff, he hit traffic with it. It's still not out of danger, Krupp is denied. At the side of the net, Petrantonio had the stick chopped out of his hands. He's got to go get a new one. Actually, he's just going to head off for the change here. Again, chaos in the zone as Petrantonio's stick kept the puck in for a moment all by itself. Now lead ahead to Barr. Barr in behind the D, cutting it on goal. Verostic save, and he jams away, but he's got it. Long enough for the whistle. 6.45 into the second. Ooh, that was a little chaotic right there. Moline was down. 
But boy, I tell you what, the blue jerseys converged in front of that Sea Wolves net. They help the goaltender out there. Draw will come to the right of the River Dragons net. Brissani in for the faceoff across from Anderson. Tied up on the dot. One back here is Layton. Play it around the near side and move it ahead to Brissani. Brissani up through center. Had it poked away right at the line. Gets it over to Underwood. Underwood had it bounce away. He'll have to send it in. That allows Klein a chance to regroup. Skips it off the glass. Hits Underwood at center with it. Columbus looking to go the other way. Here's Wickline on the left wing. He'll leave it up top. Brissani tried to force it through. That shot was blocked. Down the ice it goes. Underwood will fling that one back down. A bouncer into the left side corner. Brissani has Wickline with him. Feeds it into the slot. One at Storjahan. Recovered by Wickline. Wickline back door. Storjahan in the back. Can't let Pat save. And Moline holds on. Faceoff will stay in the Mississippi zone to the left of the Seawolves goaltender. 7.33 into the second. That's really the first big save the has had to make since coming into relief here in this second period. It's going to be Hunter, Swan. Moore, Slahetka and Duncan on the points here. Face off one by Mississippi and just flipped out of the zone by Stoya. Turn back of the line. Mississippi's just going for the stretch here. They're just sending Bond off the face off and they just lob one out, try to hit him with it. Puck deflected down the ice and Swan up after it. No icing here. Ends up played around to the near side. Mississippi trying to clear the zone. Here's Stoya. Moving it on to the right wing. Bond cutting wide with a wrist shot. And Verostic the save. He holds on. Faceoff will come to his left. Columbus in a spot right now where they're looking forward to a couple days off before they get to that 3-3 three and three against Carolina. And kind of an interesting, it's not Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's actually Thursday, Friday at Carolina, Saturday back home. That's the end of the regular season. And don't forget that April 13th game on Saturday is Fan Appreciation Night. Here's Krupp pushing the puck out through center. And it ends up with Petrantonio giving it to Krupp. Left side wanted to feed it to Doe. Krupp has to go back after himself, wrapped up with Stoya on the wall. Off the body of Doe, puck to the left point, glove down, kept in there, fed to the corner. Doe in front, Krupp, a shot. That one's blocked as Krupp is knocked down. Side of the net, Slaheka down low, getting it behind the net. Here's Austin Doe out up top, feeds it cross ice, a chance, shovel towards the net off the outside of the goal by Duncan. Duncan loops out front with it, feeds it up top. Petrantonio shot, and that missed on the stick side. Back out to center, here's Petrantonio having to get back, play a little D. And the River Dragons need a change here. They will get it, but it's turned over at center to Petrantonio back in right side. He's got Wickline up with him. Petrantonio, Wickline in front, reaching back. Moline keeps it off the goal line. Wickline tipped it in on goal, and Moline had the paddle down behind himself. And the puck hit the paddle of the goal stick and stays out. Boy, that would hit the horseshoe. But it stays 3-2, Columbus in the lead. 8.53 into the second. Brissani in for this faceoff here to the left of the Mississippi Seawolves net. Out there with Storjahan and Wickline. Seawolves play it to the right point, and they do skip that one out. You know, here's Lissio offside. <laughs> I think that's Kosh that's upset on the far side, but Hugo, I'll tell you what, when you see the replay of that one, you're going to realize you're probably four or five feet offside. And that offside is brought to you by Old School Barber Shop. They are online at oldschoolbarbershoppe.com. 
Book your next appointment online 24-7 through their Instagram and Facebook as well. It's the most convenient way to book. Reservations highly recommended. If your sides are a little off, get lined up at Old School Barbershop. Shot in on Verostic. He handles that one from the left wing. And he'll hang on. Draw coming up to his right 9.09 into the second period. Sonny in for the faceoff. One over towards Anderson. He'll send it far side. Storjahan tips it out. Seawolf sent it right back in, but Columbus will carry. Moving it ahead to the line, and now shoved right back by the Seawolves. Pop off, feeds it around far side. Lissio there to keep it in the right side corner. Bounced away from Barr, however, back towards Pop off. He'll get it to Wickline. Wickline. Anderson, Anderson lost it at the line. Now many two on one. Here's Barr left side, feeding it in front. Shot, and a save made there. Rebound goes behind the net. Nice job by Verostic. Had to do the splits, get that pad out, and now it's picked off. Columbus trying to leave the zone. Can't do it yet. Now they're out to center, but right now Columbus's pass is just a little off. They're, the feeds are a little behind guys, not leading them. And it's kind of hampering what could be otherwise some pretty darn good scoring opportunities. Of course, it is the third game in three days for the River Dragons. You didn't have to travel today to get here. Instead of leaving last night, Columbus drove up this morning. Puck tipped in from center. Hunter on his way up on the four check. And now here's Swan following it up to Hunter in the right side corner. Ryan Hunter looping up top of the wrist shot, fed it over top of the net. Chopped at by Portillo to the line. Glove down, Leighton will keep it in. Flings it into the far side corner. Fed to the line, but Kuznetsov there to cut it off. Seawolves to center. They dump it in. They'll look for the change here. 9.20 to go in the second period. 3-2 Columbus. There's a lead out to center. River Dragons on the break. Right side, here's Moore. Cutting it over the line. As Hunter with him. Moore, right wing. Sends it into the slot. Oh, it escaped off the tip of Hunter's stick. Now fed back in front. Hunter had his stick tied up as the pass arrived. Underwood at the right point trying to hold it in. A little bit of a reticence there to shoot for whatever reason from that left point. And now another penalty coming up. This one's going to be against Lind as Swan is pulled down. So when we come back, River Dragons to the power play. 8.54 to go in the second. 3-2, River Dragons leading the Seawolves on Columbus River Dragons hockey. <laughs> With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. WOW. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. <laughs> Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. They got the kiss cam on here at the arena, and they had the uh, the referees on the kiss cam a minute ago. And uh, I, I'm always interested by the songs that they pick for the kiss cam. This one is Redbone, Come and Get Your Love. Native American artists, believe it or not. And, uh, man, everybody knows that song. It's been at so many awesome movie soundtracks. And uh, I, I'll tell you what, I'm... I actually am a bigger fan of the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtracks than even the movies. Not that I don't like the movies, I, I do. But man, the soundtracks are incredible. Whoever puts those together, kudos. All right, River Dragons to the power play. For the third time, the roll for two. This power play brought to you by The Law, featuring live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons tickets up for two for one cover at The Loft. Columbus setting it up, Underwood. Top of the near circle, here's Petron Tonio. Right side of jam play, Doe. Kicking around in the crease. Puck goes out the far side. Chance for Montanac to clear, and he does backhand it out of the zone. Now Leighton in a race back into his own end. 
against Bond. They go to the corner together. Petrantonio back to help out. And Columbus will reset the breakout. On the right wing, here's Underwood moving in. Doe going to the front of the net. Underwood back in front. Doe couldn't quite get the tip on it. Clear to the line. Bouncing puck. Settled down. Fed across onto the right side. Here's Layton. Layton to the right wing corner. Doe. Doe up top. One time drive. And that one just wide. Petrantonio left half wall. Skates to the dot. In front. Tip. Krupp scores. Jay Krupp's got two. This one a power play marker as he backhands it past Moline. And the River Dragons restore the two-goal lead. It's 4-2 Columbus. Jay Krupp's got a second of the game. Johnny on the spot in front there. Time of the goal is 11.59. So boy, oh boy, the River Dragons, they could really use a power play goal and they get one. And I don't think you can completely exhale just yet if you're the River Dragons. However, you do feel a little bit better about being back in front by a pair. And now Columbus up on the four check. Let's see if they keep the momentum going here, but Seawolves take it the other way. Coach feeds it left side. Barr's got to go get it. Left wing corner watched by Storjohn. They go behind the net. Doe also picks up the other assist on that goal as Columbus pushing ahead. Dumped in from center there by Wickline. Turned right back out. Duncan will feed it across. Lahetka pressured. Has to just cough it up. Back in on the left side. Montanoc. He'll send it around the rim. Cut off before it got to Barr. It's Lahetka. We'll get it through center. Tipped on in. Bersani deflects it right in on goal. Moline elects to paddle it away. Near side Montanoc with it. Puck is tied up. Wickline doing a nice job against Koch, but now it's swept out. Back to Sequoia Swan. Swan's got a goal in this one. Here's Slahetka ahead on the right side. Lays it for Wickline. Slahetka going to the net. Feed down low. is shot. And he's shut down by Moline. Around to the right point. Here's Swan holding it in. He'll cycle it deep. Right side, Ryan Hunter into the front of the net, and Wickline scores! Wickline went to go make a move. He took the puck on the backhand, and he just slid that one in past the left pad of Moline inside the near post. 5-2 Columbus with 6.44 to go in the second. That was a nice little break for Columbus on that goal, I'll tell you what. I think Wickline might have had other plans, but you know what? In it goes. 13-16, time of the goal. Boy, Columbus will take it, that's for sure. Swan might pick up the other assist on that goal. I believe it was he that kept it in from the point. But we'll see here. And well, now we got penalties coming. And the referee Immediately waving the Seawolves player away. And actually, I think Portillo just got booted. He at least got 10, if not the gate for the game. Boy, that was that was an adamant call right there by referee Brian Cole. Wow. He was he had, had enough very quickly of Portillo. So I don't think, I mean, well, I have seen <laughs> calls just as emphatic as that, but let's see what he gets. So he's got a five-minute major up on the board, and uh, that's probably going to include a misconduct with it. 13.30, time of the penalty. Now the real question here as uh, the teams are kind of gathered at their benches wondering what's going to happen, but. Wow. That, uh, and you know what, and Portillo is a guy, that's what he does, he stirs the pot. You know, he's out there, he, he plays a physical game, he plays on the line. But I didn't even see we knocked down in the corner, unfortunately there, I was so taken by the referee's response and just immediately bidding Portillo to the locker room. 
Yeah, five for charging for Portillo, and I assume that's going to carry more because he was sent off. So that's probably, there's also a game in there as well. So Columbus, one for three on the power play. Now onto their fourth, the loft power play as the puck cleared down the ice. Yeah, game misconduct for Portillo. So Columbus will move it ahead on the right side. Here's Moore making his way in. Moore tied up, and he's put into the glass behind the net. Anderson pushing it around, and now Moore knocked down. Moore's just taking some abuse down there, maybe trying to draw another penalty, but I don't know if he did or not. Yep, he did. Five on three for two full minutes. Cross-checking the call. I will say that sometimes teams take liberties when they are down a man because they figure, well, we're not going to get another one called against us, but Lucas Helland is into the box for cross-checking. And I do want to credit Kyle Moore because I know Moore, with all, every fiber of his being, wanted to turn around and smack Helland. He didn't. And that results in a five-on-three here. Now the refs are going to talk about it out at center here. But, again, just kudos to Kyle Moore because that is the hardest thing in the world to do is hold your patience, and he did. All right, five on three for two minutes. River Dragons go to work. Slahetka, Hunter, shot. That one is blocked to the body in front. Hunter pressured towards the point, and Slahetka will play it off his body and keep it in. Slahetka on the near side, try to push it towards the line. It comes out. Hunter is pushed out to center. Lind up with it, and he's going to get a chance to clear it down. Verostic will leave it behind the net for Anderson. Four minutes to go in the major for charging against Portillo. Minute and a half in the cross-checking call against Helen as Columbus dumps it in there. Moline out to play it. Tries to clear. It's kept in at the point by Moore. He'll feed it over to the far side. Slahetka. Moore. High slot. Slahetka, far circle, over Hunter, one time, and off the mid of Moline. Puck into the corner, cleared to the line, not out, held in by Hunter. Far side will get it back up top, let a shot go again, and that one blocked off the foot there of Bond, and out it goes, and boy, he's struggling. River Dragons push right back in. Here's Moore, he's got Sorge Hung going to the net. Moore, and he scores! Kyle Moore, toe drag, top shelf, power play goal. It's 6-2 Columbus. How about that? That is absolutely poetic justice. Moore is the guy who drew the five on three. He gets the goal. And now the major power play continues for 327. Time of the goal, 15.03 for Moore. And the River Dragons are now st starting to stretch this one out a little bit. But again, I credit Kyle Moore, all the credit in the world, for not retaliating and getting that five on three for Columbus. As it's cleared down the ice. Leighton after it. And he'll look to set it up here. Underwood, left wing corner. Doe behind the net. To the right side, here's Petrantonio. Petrantonio across the ice. Far dot, Underwood up top. Leighton fakes. Underwood. Leighton looking. Near side, Petrantonio. Into the slot area. Back and down. Oh, boy. If Doe would have carried to the front of the net, he had that side wide open. As Moline was down, Krupp knocked down on the far side. But Moline was down. Did not hug that post. But Doe tried to make the quick play. Oh, he bounces it in on goal off a defender. Save made there. Petrantonio gets pushed going to the net by Montanoc, and I'm sure frustration a plenty for the Seawolves hockey team. 4.03 to go in the second. We'll take a break. Come back with more in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. Dragons hockey. <laughs> With WOW, you now get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. WOW. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. 
Fuck. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. All right, we are back here at the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum. Tom Callahan here with you. It's 4.03 left up on that second period clock. It is 6-2 Columbus. River Dragons working on a major power play here. 2.34 to go in a charging Penalty against Portillo, who also got a game misconduct. So Columbus two for six. This is chance number six. The major power play will continue if they score again. Face off will be to the right of Moline, who came in in relief of Shepard here to start the second period. He's given up three. Shepard gave up three in the first. Columbus with it up top. Here's Popoff. Popoff on the right side. Columbus kind of rotating out through the power play shift tonight, even though they're resting some players. Quick line on the right side. Getting it over to Bersani. Bersani, cross ice feed as Columbus fans it out. Shot coming in. That one is blocked. Into the left side corner. Swan after it. Swan around to the rim. Pop off. Try to keep it in. And he does. Pop off. Try to push down the wall. Pops up top free to Swan. Backing up. Swan looking, feeds Laheka to the near dot. Laheka wrist shot, save made, rebound. Ooh, swatted away just before Bersani got there and out of play. Nice defensive play in front by the Seawolves there. 3.22 to go in the second period. 6-2 your score. 153 to go in the major power play. Second period action brought to you by WOW Internet. Proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 per month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! Draw to the right of the Seawolves net. Store Jahan in for the faceoff here. And it goes off more. Kicks to the left point. Fed across over towards Hunter. He'll curl. Look up top to Duncan, it bounced away from Duncan. And now here's a chance and Duncan puts a shoulder into his man and then he gets knocked down, puck back in over the line and it ends up with Ryan Hunter. Onto the right wing to Moore. Moore pressured in his own end, has to play it towards Anderson. Anderson across and out the right wing, here's Hunter. Hunter in on the wall, stops, tries to work it into space. Columbus will cycle it around here, up top Anderson, flips it across, Duncan. Near dot, Hunter into space, Anderson scores! Hugh Anderson! A power play goal, and Anderson has his first pro goal on the power play as he sends it through the wickets on Moline. 7 2 River Dragons. Time of the goal coming here at 17-16. Congratulations to Anderson. Well, last night Popoff got his first pro goal. Now it's Anderson his. Gotta love it. Right now, Columbus is just really doing well on the power play, but here's a shorthanded chance. Maybe, nope, Seawolves coughed it up, and Columbus has numbers the other way if they hurry. As the major now just under a minute to go here. Yeah, the River Dragons keep it in up top. Here's Layton to his left. He'll curl back up with it. Layton lets it go. Shot is tip wide in front. Wick line on the right half wall with it. 40 seconds to go in the major. Anderson, or pardon me, Underwood up top, getting it across now near Dodgers. Wick line, a backdoor feed in front of back. Henderson wide by Bersani as he spun around. Ends up with Sequoia Swan. Swan up to the left point. Across to Underwood, had to back up for it. Underwood into the right side corner. Bersani. The Mississippi box has gone a little passive here. Left point, Layton. Cross ice feed, here's Underwood. 
Chanson on goal, tip behind the net, although they've been killing a penalty here for the last five minutes, and part of that was five on three. Coming to a close here, the power play ticks down. Quick line on the right side, but the shot missed the net. Finally, the power play is over. Stoya was serving it. He's out of the box. And now it's coughed up at center. Back on the right side, here's Wickline. He'll fling it in, a bouncing puck in just wide of the Seawolves net. Knocked down for Lucas Helen. Bersani finishes his check there. 1-10 to go on the second. 7-2, Columbus in the lead. Back at the left side, Wong. He's shouldered off by Popoff, and now the other way is Austin Doe. Stops at the line. Cross ice feed, walking in. Krupp, he scores! Jay Krupp's got the hat trick! Austin Doe feeds Krupp on the far side, and Jay Krupp. Ice here in Mississippi with 54.9 seconds to go in the second period. It's 8 2 Columbus. Oh my goodness, 19.05, time of the goal. And the River Dragons. Just really making a showing here this afternoon against Mississippi. Shepard gave up three in the first, now Moline has given up five here in the second in relief work. Puck will be dumped into the far side corner, up after it, Anderson. Around to the far side, here's a chance coming in. Nope, from the right point, that was blocked and just filtered wide of the net. Swept up to the left point here. And that shot hit Krupp in the shin, ends up in the near corner, bar behind the net for Mississippi. 22 seconds in the period. Bar off Petrantonio, he's got a break. Petrantonio up the left side, cutting it on goal to the forehand, save Moline, and he'll scoop that rebound in to hold on. Flings it away angrily. 10.5 to go in the second period. Certainly frustration for the young Seawolves netminder. But, I mean, it's uh, it's been a period. And honestly, early on, Mississippi made it a 3-2 game. They scored the first goal of the period, and it looked like the Seawolves had the momentum, but Columbus has uh, ended up dropping a five spot here. As the puck played into that far corner, we're going to run out of time here. Moore won't get a shot off. Oh, he did get it to the front of the net, but time expires on Ryan Hunter. And the Seawolves, boy, half of that team was already off and down the tunnel into the locker room. Practically as the horn was going, that is a frustrated hockey team. And again, it's 8-2 right now. I don't necessarily blame them, but wow. That, that is not how I honestly thought the second period was going to go. But Columbus really turned it around, and honestly what was a big difference in the game was the major power play for Columbus after Portillo got five in a game for charging. The River Dragons... Score three power play goals. And Columbus just really all over this Seawolves team in the second period. And that, that was a huge turning point. At that point, yeah, Columbus had the lead. But that goal at 13.30, it came just after Cody Wickline's goal. That made it a 5-2 game. And a bit of a frustration penalty there, but then Columbus is able to pour on a couple more. Two of those on the power play. And the River Dragons, after 40 minutes, in front 8-2 on this one. Now, of course, the question on everyone's mind, I'm sure, is what does the third period look like? You hope it doesn't kind of devolve into just a, a penalty fest, but I suppose that is one way it could go. However, the River Dragons, if they can exhibit the patience here just to get through the 20 minutes and skin out with his three points against Mississippi, I mean, the tone is set for the first round of the playoffs already. But Columbus just needs to finish it off now. Can't take the foot off the gas. All right, let's move it into the second period intermission report. We will wrap up the scoring, and we've got some work ahead of us to do that, so stay tuned, River Dragons fans. Then we've also got a look at the out-of-town scoreboard, which is brought to you by Zelmo's Zip-In. 
doing some scoreboard watching here. We're going to update the uh, the playoff chase in the Empire Division. Everything is all slotted in in the Continental. We will review it, but uh, boy, the Empire is where things can still be uh, juggled around. And this weekend's games are very important to that. So stay tuned, 8-2 River Dragons after two. And we are back with the Shredaway second period intermission report in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip-In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. And also now back on the YouTube side as well as the River Dragons. Boy, how about it? 8-2 <laughs> Columbus after two periods of play. And uh, the River Dragons absolutely just blew it open there in the second period. Before we get to our second intermission scoring wrap here, brought to you by Shredaway, let's uh, take a break. Ten seconds along the radio network for station identification. You're listening to River Dragons Hockey on WKCN HD2 Fort Moore, Columbus and W295AY Crystal Valley. 106.9 really rocks. So back here in the Shredaway second period intermission report, the River Dragons in this one, believe it or not, the way the second period opened, it looked like Mississippi was preparing to make a comeback. So it was 3-0 Columbus, and then towards the end of the first, it became 3-1 as the Seawolves got one back there with Barr's goal, and then Stoya, 26 seconds into the second period from Koch and Wong made that one a 3-2 game, and all of a sudden it kind of looked like maybe, just maybe, Mississippi might be jumping back into this hockey game. Then the rest of the period happened. Columbus poured on five on relief goaltender Austin Moline. And uh, Moline, in his second appearance here for the Seawolves, just 
I mean, not a whole lot of help. And again, a turning point, which we're going to talk about here, was a five-minute major power play for the River Dragons. And Columbus actually cashed in on an earlier power play. And they did so. At 11.59, Jay Krupp, the goal from Petrantonio and Doe. That's his second of the night. And that made it a 4-2 River Dragons lead. Then an even strength marker, 13-16, a pass in front for Cody Wickline. And it looked like Wickline, who took it on the backhand, might have been trying to go back across to the forehand, but the puck on the backhand ends up going inside the near post. Wickline gets the goal from Slahetka and Hunter. And now it's a 5-2 game. Then the River Dragons, the beneficiaries of a 5-on-3. Portillo got 5 in a game for charging. And right after that, about 30 seconds later, Lucas Helen gets two for cross-checking. Columbus scores on the five on three at 15.03. And this time it is Kyle Moore from Storjahan and Hunter. Then a power play goal and his first as a pro for Hugh Anderson. Congratulations to Hugh. 17-16 time of that power play goal from Hunter and Moore. And the River Dragons... Right now, sitting at three for seven on the power play. You can't ask for more than that. Well, I guess you could if you're greedy. But uh, Columbus has been finding a way here to put pucks in the net in the second. They weren't done, however, after the major expired. At 19.06, Jay Krupp completes the hat trick from Doe and Popoff with an assist on that one as well. And it's 8-2 River Dragons at the conclusion of the second period of play. Shots in the period favored Columbus 18-15. And the River Dragons for the game, 31-30 for the Seawolves. And again, Columbus, as I mentioned just a moment ago, 3 for 7 on the power play. The Seawolves right now 0 for 3. But uh, Portillo, after that charging call, I mean, he was tossed out immediately. And uh, a very emphatic penalty call. And from there, it's just kind of gone downhill for the Seawolves. And at the end of the period... And half the bench was empty as the horn was sounding, and those guys were on their way down the tunnel. So I know it's a frustrating game for the Mississippi Seawolves and certainly for the fans here to watch this one. But there's another period to go in this, and you just hope that frustration doesn't boil over into something dangerous. So fingers crossed that uh, it doesn't get too out of hand here in the third. All right, let's take a break of the Shredaway second period intermission report. When we come back, we will have a look at that Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard, so stay tuned. That update is coming your way back with more in a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Let's go! Set the tone. Kyle, tell your shoes, tell your shoes. Yeah, good job. Woo! Yeah! Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic Mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams.
My dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. <laughs>
All right, back with third period action on the other side of the break. 8-2. Columbus in the lead. This is River Dragons Hockey. Dragons Hockey. Let's try. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services, because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too, the $6 breakfast bundle. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys, who's ready to put it to work? Me. me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Up 8-2 on the Seawolves. Here's a shot in on goal and a save to start things off here. And it is back out there, Austin Moline in net. For the Mississippi Seawolves, he came in in the second period, gave up five. Joe Shepard started the game, was pulled after giving up three. But at this point, I mean, pardon the pun, but you throw the rookie to the Wolves a little bit here. Certainly he was frustrated in that second period by the way things went for him. But you know what? This is a growing and learning opportunity uh, for a young goaltender like Moline. I don't mind the Seawolves keeping him out there. In fact, I think they should. Let him try to make a couple of big saves here. Get the confidence back. And you know what? In the pro game, you're not going to have it every night. Nobody does. And so it's a good learning experience. River Dragons, though, in firm control of this one, 8-2, as we start period number three, which is brought to you by Kinetic Credit Union. Here's Ryan Hunter up the right side, cutting around Lucas Helen. And a backhand in on goal. Moline the save as Hunter's pulled down by Helen behind the play. Referee watching intently, but no call there. As the puck fired down, they'll wave off icing. Felicio beats that icing call out in the left side corner, tied up with Brody Duncan. Fed behind the net. On the near side, here's Slahedka. Cross ice Duncan onto the left side. Krupp will tip it in. He's already got three here. Jay Krupp with the hat trick. Completed that in the second period. Played around to the right point. Slahedka holding it in. Tried to feed towards the slot. Krupp onto the left side. Duncan's got room. A wrist shot in. Save made. Big rebound. They score. 
Nolan Slahetka right there to clean up the rebound. Puts it home past Moline. 38 seconds into the third period. Well, a minute 38 seconds into the third period. And it's 9-2. Good keep at the line by Krupp. He snapped it over to the near side. Duncan with the initial shot. And that should be a four-point night for Jay Krupp right there. He should pick up a helper on that one. River Dragons dump it in, and they push right in again. And it's played away and off the glass down the ice. Stoya goes by the net and just gives Wickline a little chop there. And you know what I mean? That's that's what I'm talking about is that kind of stuff for the Seawolves. Certainly the frustration is there. I get it. But this is kind of how it leads to injuries and problems. Just those little extra cheap shots that then boil over and things happen. And you don't want to see that happen on either side. There's a shot for Ostick with a glove save on Wong. That's the last thing either one of these two teams need is injuries from silliness like that. And the, the game is, it's not over, but it's over. I mean, 2.02 into the third, it's 9-2 Columbus, but boy, I just absolutely would hate to see that kind of just devolve. Bersani kicked out of the faceoff, Storjahan in to take it. One back into the corner, Wonk in after it, knocked down by Popoff over there. And you also don't want guys playing not to get hurt, you know. There's a shot coming in, blocked by Travick in front of Rostick, and bounced away to center ice. Montanago, the pass on the left side. Siebel's trying to push back in. Wong over to the near side. Stoy with a shot. He scores. And Stoy has got his second of the game. Well, of course, there's also the caveat, hey, don't take your foot off the gas. That goal coming 224 into the period. And already here to start the third, we've had a couple goals, one going either way. It's 9-3 Columbus. Going to run out of spots to write down the goals. Mississippi will control that faceoff. Helen will dump it down. Will that be icing? Underwood, yes, back for the touch. So the faceoff will come back down the ice. Stoya from Wong and Bond. And they're going to put the faceoff to the left of Moline. Petrantonio in for the faceoff. And he will win it back to the right point. Layton with a quick shot and a glove save by Moline. By the way, the River Dragons goal, Slahetka, was indeed from Duncan and Krupp. Just 138 into the period. River Dragons push the puck in front off the faceoff. Petro swats at it, can't get to it. It's cleared out and then sent right back in. Seawolves will reset the breakout here as we approach three minutes into this third period. It is 9-3 Columbus. Bar up on the right wing side. Well, this is the other thing too. If you're Mississippi, think about this. This is certainly a bad result for you. However, you have a first-round playoff matchup coming up with this River Dragons team in another week and a half. And you cannot show them that you're going to roll over. You have to fight hard all the way through the 60 minutes, even when it's really not going your way. There's Barr on the right wing side. He'll flip it back to the far. Now on the near corner, Koch tried to spin free but lost it. Fired around by Petrantonio to the left point and past Lind down the ice. Columbus will call for a change. Seawolves on the regroup. They'll try the right side. And here comes Jackson Bond through center. Bond to the left wing. Slahetka. Oh, Bond fell, and he took the referee down with him. 
the crowd appreciating that one. Round to the left point kept in by the Seawolf. Shot coming in, and that one goes wide. Bond tries to separate with a shoulder. He gets shouldered by Swan. Puck at the point. Linda Long shot in, and that's scooped up by the mitt of Hunter Verostic. 4.06 into the third period. 9-3 Columbus in the lead. Shots right now 36 for the River Dragons, 32 for the Seawolves. Not to be lost in the play of everything going on here, but uh, Hunter Verostic's having himself a nice game out there. It's a good start for the rookie. Gave up five in his first start, but still got the win. And now here he is in his second pro start. Looking a little better, a little more confident. It's just finding your way. Seeing those shots, seeing the game action is very important. And again, that's why Moline staying in for the Seawolves, I think, is the right thing to do. Columbus up through center. Anderson, who's got his first pro goal tonight, dumps it into the right side corner. Store Jahan on the wing, feeding it behind the net to Wickline. Wickline up the near side, into the slot, a bouncing puck taken away by Mississippi. Wong, left side, lead to Jackson Bond. He cuts in over the line, and Popoff able to somehow steal that one away. Wickline with a backhand tip ahead. Here's a breakaway for Bersani. Bersani moving it on goal, and a shot glove save. And Helen. There to pick up the rebound from his netminder. Nice stop by Moline. I think Bersani, it almost looked like he second-guessed his shot choice there, just trying to go a little soft into the high glove area. Puck at the side of the net. Verostic's going to hold that. It almost looked like as soon as Bersani let it go, his body language kind of told me that that was not the shot he wanted, but it is the one he took. 5.07 into the third, 9-3 Columbus. We'll be back with more in a moment. The Kinetic Credit Union third period rolls on on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability. So for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Um, calm. Do you have your fifth anniversary River Dragons merch? Have you checked out our dragonsmerch.com? There's also the uh, military merch that's up there as well. And of course, plenty of regular stuff for you. If you like the, uh, the good old normal logo, but if you like the V, the fifth anniversary, that is limited edition. That's going away, obviously, after this year. By the way, be sure you check out Dash. Log into the Dash app as there's a shot blockered out of play by Verostic. But on the Dash app, it's been a great week, actually. We've had the uh, Chattahoots crossover jerseys up there, Legends jerseys up there. Text the word Dash, D-A-S-H, to 66866, that's 66866. And you'll get a link to download the Dash app. Once you fill out your profile, select Columbus Sports as your favorite. And we will keep you up to date on what's going on with the River Dragons auctions, everything as it happens. Plus the raffles as well, an awful lot of fun and a great way to keep up and get some River Dragon swag. You're still in for a chance to the left side. Nice, saved by Moline, getting the left pad out there. River Dragons keep it in. There's Leighton with a shot, wide of the net. Round to the far side, Petrantonio tried to shove that one deep and instead it's turned the other way. And out come the Seawolves up on the right side. There's a backdoor feed and Bart. Nice job by Petrantonio. Boy, he's still hustling on the back check. Just tied up Bart, never let him get a shot off. Clearing attempt at a stanchion though, stays in the zone. Bouncer to the side of the net. Verostic pins it there. That's why that guy's the captain. Just there's no quit. Absolutely no quit for Josh Petrantonio as he keeps battling all the way back. 
I mean, it's 9-3 Columbus, but number nine does not take a shift off, ever. Face off to the right of the River Dragons net. It's pulled out of there by Bond. He's pushed to the line. Did he keep it in? Yes. Here's Wong on the left side into the slot for Stoya. Stoya's got a pair. There's Bond in for a shot. Save for Ostick. Puck in a pile, and he finds it and holds on. Six twelve gone here in this third period. Brought to you by Kinetic Credit Union. Want to remind you, these two teams are going to match up in the first round of the playoffs. And that starts April 17th. That is a Wednesday. That will be here for game one in Mississippi at the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum. Game two back in Columbus on Friday night. Game three, if necessary, Saturday night. Right now, seven-game playoff packs are on sale, but single-game playoff seats will go on sale April 9th at 11 a.m. Eastern. That's this Tuesday. There's Swan in with a shot. That finds the glass. And the River Dragons trying to keep the puck in more. Montanac pulls it away from him. And now out to center, here's Stoya in on the right wing. Matt Stoya carries it wide with the wrist shot off the outside of the net. Bond around to the left point. Held in up top. Across Helland with a wrister. That's blocked. Cleared ahead and now a chance for a big break. River Dragons up the left side. And having trouble with it is Moore, but he left it off the Swan. Swan's pass deflected back to Moore. Hunter was open on the far side. Swan just couldn't get the puck across to him. Swan has lost his twig on the play, tying up Lind in the corner. Got to be careful that you don't get the holding call here. He's just got him pinned there. Actually, that was Lind that lost his stick. It was Swan. Now puck to the front of the net. Save made by Moline. Helen the other way, right side of your Stoya to center. Puck in off the boot of Bond. Played behind the net for Rostick. Up the middle, Hunter had to knock it away. Little flip into space. Columbus chips to the line, not out. Stoy in with a shot, and the save made for Rostick. So he hangs on to that one. 7.33 into the third period. 9-3 Columbus. And again, single game seats going on sale on the 9th at 11 a.m. through Ticketmaster.com and, uh, and at the Civic Center box office. But right now, seven game playoff packs are what you can pick up. Ensure your same great seating throughout the entire chase for the Commissioner's Cup for the River Dragons, who have sewn up the league title and have home ice all the way through the playoffs. Up the left side of your store, Jahan. Left wing corner looking for wick line. Puck to the line. Did it come out? Yes, it did. That offside brought to you by Old School Barber Shop. They're online at OldSchoolBarberSHOPPE.com. Are your sides a little off? Well, get lined up at Old School Barber Shop. Book online through the website anytime, plus 24-7 through their Instagram and Facebook. Old School Barber Shop reservations highly recommended. Seawolves win the faceoff here. They're going to move it ahead. In on the left wing side, Kuznetsov trying to catch up with a could not shot coming in for the point for Rostick, a glove save. Save big at River City Swing Sets, your local Gorilla Play Sets authorized showroom, offering lifetime warranty swing sets and basketball goals, swings, slides, and more. Check out RiverCitySwingSets.com for the full lineup. Get your big save at River City Swing Sets with free installation on any swing set purchased by saying, Go River Dragons! Draw to the right of Rostick. Draw one back towards Wong. His shot is blocked. And now Helland, his shot is blocked out to center by Krupp, who took a knee there. Petrantonio looking to chop that one ahead. He and Helen battling. It's thrown back into the Columbus end. A clearing attempt hits Doe, not out. Montanac on the right wing side, shakes his way free, cuts in, trying to jam it. Nice save at the near post by Verostic. Kept that left flat, pad flat on the ice. Anderson, left side, tipped in by Doe. Croup up on the forecheck. And he'll wheel by. Moline out to play it. Boy, he almost handed it to Doe, but Stoya was there to help out. Stoya will lift the lob out to center. It bounces back to the Columbus end. 
Banked ahead. River Dragons couldn't touch it just to make sure not too many men, but they move ahead now. Here's Ryan Hunter on the right wing. Had it knocked away. Kyle Moore on the far side. Oh, my goodness. Clusett just bounced off the back side of Kyle Moore. Wow. <laughs> it looked like he ran, just ran into a light pole. That was unbelievable. Back on the left side. Here's Hunter in with a shot, and he put that one up over top of the net. Seawolves able to move it ahead. Here's Bart. Scoops it onto the left wing. Bond tried to wiggle in and lost that apartment. That's Koch. Lost the handle into the corner. Parker Layton tied up by Bart. Manages to move the puck away to Hunter. Hunter at center. And I don't mind telling you, a lot of the pace has gone out of this hockey game. 9-3 Columbus as we approach the halfway mark of the third period. Mississippi, though, still trying. And there's a centering feed for Barr that's knocked away. Columbus will push back up now. Left side here, Storjahan. Wick line, Storjahan cutting to the net to the backhand. Shut down by the glove of Moline. Good save right there by the rookie netminder as it's cleared off the glass down the ice. That'll be an icing call. That will get us to a break as well. 9.55 left to go here in the third. 9-3, Columbus in the lead. Third period action brought to you by Kinetic Credit Union. We'll be back with more in a moment on River Dragons Hockey. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Let's go! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! time! Set the tone! Kyle, tell your shoes, tell your shoes. Yeah, good job! Woo! Yeah! Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. Back here at the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum. Tom Callahan here with you. Drew Pierce producing. Emily Green on camera work here, and it's 9-3. Do not adjust your screen. That is correct. River Dragons approaching double digits for, I think, only the second time this year. They did break double digits. They scored 12 earlier on this year. This is why I keep a handy-dandy little spreadsheet here. It was 11, pardon me. On February 16th against Baton Rouge, but nine goals is the second highest total this season. There's still half a period to go here in this one, although, as I say, the uh, pace has abated quite a bit. Puck at the left point of the Seawolves in. Now it's pushed out. Slahetka back. Slahetka will flip it ahead. Brusani leaving it off there, trying to cut through his wick line, but he was knocked away. And now on the right side, it's swept away from Koch. Verostic will play it right back up the near side to the right point. And it's Lind keeping it in. Wong dumped it across. There's a shot sent wide by Lissio. Passed to center and hurried for Storja Han just out of his reach. Helen will turn it back the other way. And now Bond in on the right wing side, carrying it wide. And nice job by Slaheka to put the body on him. He never even got a shot away. Columbus, meanwhile, back the other way. Storage on the right side. Stops, tried to feed it back across. Looking for Bersani. Didn't get a lot on it. But now it's turned right back over. Storage on. Back door, Bersani. Across. Wick line off a skate. Couldn't control it for the shot. Columbus will keep it in, though. On the left side, cutting across. Pop off. Sends it deep. River Dragons peel out, looking for the change. There's a stretch ahead, looking for Stoya. Stoya up the right side. Pop off gets back in around him. Spins away from the check. And he flips it off the glass, bounces it away to center. Helen back the other way. Anderson behind the net, 8-25, and counting to go into third. 9-3, River Dragons in the lead. 
Pop off, lost it at the line. Backhands it ahead, though. Left side, Doe chasing it down, but Helen will get there first. Played off Krupp, it goes to center. And now here's a chance, left side, Bond on the wing. In with a wrist shot, Verostic way out to greet it and holds on to that rebound. 8.04 to go here in the third. And the draw will come to the right of the river. Dragons goal. Columbus now with 40 shots on goal, 38 for the Seawolves. So again, take nothing away from the game Verostic's playing tonight. Bates off to his right. Draw one back behind the net. Certainly that's not necessarily the headline when you put up nine, but Jay Krupp with a hat trick. Ryan Hunter, a big game going on for him as well. Columbus turns it over in the slot. Here's Kuznetsov in with a shot, and they score. That one leaks through the five hole. 7.49 to go. It becomes a 9-4 game. Kuznetsov with the goal at 12-11. And we're just going to limp this one to the end. Face off. Out at center is one back by the Seawolves. And they'll look to move it ahead. Here's Kuznetsov in over the line. Poked away from him. Petrantonio back on it. He'll dump it out to center. And now penalty coming up against Columbus. It's going to be Duncan going to the box as he cut down Matanak. And Matanak and Duncan coming together for a moment there. I think Duncan felt like he might have gone down a little easily, but Duncan ends up with the trip. Columbus. Three for three on the penalty kill as Duncan into the Abercrombie bonding penalty box. Time of the tripping call here. 12-33. Well, certainly Columbus does not want to make this an adventure. They do start off the kill with a clear. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 12-33. So it's Swan out there with Bersani, Anderson, and Popoff to start this kill. Stoya trying to flip it in, hit Bersani, Swan. Going to just wheel back into his own end, kill a little extra time, head behind the net. They'll leave it around there for Anderson. Anderson is pressured, now he swings it off the glass, gets it to center, Bond cuts it off there. Seawolves back in. Cross ice feed, Bond, bouncer in front. Oh, what a right pad stopped by Verostic on bar. Point blank took it away. Shot coming in, blocked by traffic in front, and now Bersani hooks it down the ice. Past Swan, he's not going to be able to catch up with it. Boy, that was a big one right there. Verostic with a huge stop. Cleared back down once again, and Moline will leave it at the side of the net. 6-16 and counting to go in the third. 9-4 Columbus. Stretch to center, cut off by Storjahan. Steps back in, but offside. Trying to get it going a little quick there, and uh, Wickline had not yet quite cleared the zone. 6.07 to go here in the third. 40 seconds left to go in the tripping call against Brody Duncan. Boy, the shots are even at 40 apiece right now, but boy, Columbus is just absolutely cruising here, almost at 25% on the shooting percentage in this game. Fired in from center by Kuznetsov around the rim it goes, and it makes it to the line and right back out. Kuznetsov will go across to Lind. Lind moving it ahead, a bouncer. And that is held on to by Verostic. And you don't mind the young goaltender just kind of hanging on the pucks. 
letting the centers do the work here, win the draws. Petrantonio will come out along with Austin Doe. They're going to move the faceoff outside. Not entirely sure why. Unless perhaps as Petrantonio just fires it down the ice. Perhaps that was uh, the play was offside. Mississippi certainly did not peel out on their forecheck, so that might be the answer. Puck at center. And the Seawolves trying to regroup here and push in, but Columbus is back to full strength there now. Four for four on the kill here in this one. As Duncan out of that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. Underwood behind his own net on the right side. Here's Layton moving it ahead, and it's wedged out by Krupp ahead to Doe. Doe steers it in on the left wing, but it's played back off the boards. And out to center. Ends up back with Petrantonio. He'll go cross ice. And now here's Krupp moving up one on three. But Krupp in, puts it towards the net. Moline will kick it away with the right pad. It's cleared out to center. Petrantonio on it there, dumps it back in. River Dragons tag up and go for a change here now. 4.47 to go into third, 9-4 Columbus. Right side, Bond ahead to Wong. Wong in over the line on the right wing, leaving it off. Look at Stoya. Stoya's shot, oh boy, high stick there. And the shot held on to by Verostic. They're going to call Stoya for high sticking. But I will tell you what, Stoya should not be called for high sticking here. Did he hit Duncan in the face? Yes. But it was the follow through of a shot. And Stoya slaps his stick as he goes into the box. River Dragons of the power play when we come back. 9-4, Columbus leads 4.36 to go in this Kinetic Credit Union third period. This is River Dragons hockey. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. I'm always on the go. But with the Kinetic Credit Union app, Kinetic is always with me. The Kinetic mobile app is virtual banking at its best. With the Kinetic mobile app, I can easily send and receive money, make a deposit, pay some bills, and I can even open up a new account all from my phone. And I can monitor all my accounts in one place, all on the go. The Kinetic mobile app, energized banking at its best. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. All right, we're back on River Dragons Hockey. Tom Callahan here with you with 4.36 to go in the third nine for your score. Columbus in the lead. And back on the loft power play for the eighth time. They're three for seven with a man advantage. There's a shot in on goal, and that one is tipped out of play. Look out. The loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons tickets up for a two-for-one deal on cover. Only at the loft in downtown Columbus. It's Hunter in to take the face off here. And it is pushed back to the line, past Moore, out and down the ice it goes. So Moore looking to move it ahead. Here's Hunter, Ryan Hunter, up on the right wing side, in over the line, he'll slide it around the rim. On to the left wing, Duncan try to put it to the point. Moore flips it in space, Lahetka to Hunter, top of the far dot, but he's pressured by Wong, lost the puck, and it's cleared out. So once again, the River Dragons will regroup. Columbus pushing it back in. Here's Duncan behind the net. Sequoia Swan out the far side. Feeds it up top, Slaheka over to Moore. Moore near dot. Moore up top, Slaheka lets it go, and a blocker save there by Moline. Cleared to the left point, but not out. Slaheka. Onto the right side to Hunter. Hunter looking in front, cross ice to Moore. Moore, a little trouble with the pass, backs up with it. 45 seconds of the power play, backdoor one time, and Malene got to his left. 
Got a piece of that one. Slahetka up top over to Moore. Far dot. Moore lets it go. Missed high glove. Puck right out in front. Oh, boy. Nice job by Hunter. Turn around to keep it in. Hunter banks it up to the right point. Slahetka. Wrist shot. That one through traffic found the boards. Might have been deflected in front off a of body. Moore up top to Slahetka. Slahetka. Moore. Near dot. Moore in his skates tied up and is able to win the puck battle. Ten seconds to go on the man advantage. There's a shot by Slaheka, and that one tipped to the boards as well. Power play is going to expire. Here's Hunter near side. Oh, I think he was trying to flip it up and a little lacrosse style goal. Couldn't get it to go. Power play's over with a shot by Moore and a glove save there. And Well, if you score on that, great. If you don't, you get that power play unit off the ice. They were out there all two minutes of that man advantage. Now two and a half to go in the third. 9-4 Columbus. River Dragons had some good shots there. I will say this, though, Mississippi was still getting in the way of pucks. Still blocking shots, deflecting them wide. And again, the draw to the right of the Seawolves net. Tied up on the Don, one back by Mississippi. They will clear it out and down. That should be an icing call. Nope, they say it was tipped, no icing. Columbus will send it right back the other way. A little pitch and catch here, I think. Klein trying to left side. Seawolves do get to center. Barr looked to dump it in, but he put it right to Underwood. He shoved it back over the blue line. Parker Layton on it, clearing it ahead. Bersani gloves it down, trying to flip it ahead. Missed Storjahan with the pass. Because Netsov will fire it back in. And that one will be held by Verostic. Face off coming to his left here. 152 to go in the third period. So Columbus will sew this one up. They'll get their three points here. Finish out the weekend. Three games will remain after tonight on the regular season schedule. Thursday, Friday at Carolina. Saturday at home against the Thunderbirds. On Fan Appreciation Night, it's our final family four-pack night of the season. What a great deal that is for just $40. Seawolves keeping the puck in at the point. Shot coming in, Verostic will scoop it up and hang on again. But $40 gets you four tickets to the game and four hot dogs, four popcorn, four Pepsi products, and four Chick-fil-A coupons. That's over $100 in value for just $40 only available through the River Dragons office. So stop by this week during normal business hours, or you can always give us a call. 706-507-4625. Puck skipped off the glass and out and down. Columbus able to clear the zone. As the Seawolves, minute and a half to go in the game. Stoya in with a wrist shot blocked. It ends up with Austin Doe. He goes right side, and here's Jay Krupp up the right wing. Has a lane with a wrist shot, and he missed on the stick side. Anderson steps up. He wraps all the way behind the net. Wraps it in on goal. Moline the save at the left post, and he hangs on to that one. One fourteen to go. If you're just joining us, Columbus 3 for 8 on the power play in this game including scoring twice during a five-minute major and a game misconduct against Portillo for charging. Wolves net one back by Barr. Helland up the far side, Storjahan. Tied up on the wall over there. Seawolves trying to move it the other way. Here's Koch, left wing corner. He loses an edge, goes in behind the net. And Anderson tie up. Last minute of play here in the game. Koch battling behind the net, trying to wrap it out in front. Feeds it to the point. Helen with a drive, and he scores. That may have been tipped in front. Not sure if that is Helen or Barr who's going to get credit for the goal. But the traffic in front of the net, it is going to be Barr. His second goal of the game. And that makes it 9-5, and likely that is going to be your final. The goal coming at 19-11. River.
River Dragons moving that puck back here and trying to run out the clock here. It is Barr on the tip from that point shot by Helen. Down to 23 seconds ago in the game. Puck cleared out to center. Brody Duncan back towards the Columbus line for it. Duncan on the left side. He'll just flip it back into the Seawolves' end. Moline will leave it behind the Mississippi net. Helen up the left side looking for a stretch pass, but that's cut off by Slahetka. He'll dump it back in. How about Kuznetsov? Still looking for the breakaway pass with 10 seconds to go. Game over, River Dragons win, 9-5. Columbus skates out with the victory. And these two teams will meet again in a week and a half in the first round of the Commissioner's Cup playoffs, but Columbus takes the season series easily and the game here as well. 9-5, your final into the Pepsi Post Game Show we go. Stay tuned, more coming your way. We'll wrap up the scoring, give you the three stars of the game, brought to you by Wade Cleaners, plus a final look back at the Selmo Zippin' out-of-town scoreboard. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Wild Jerry and get wild. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Joining us. And the River Dragons victorious. 9-5 is your final. Boy, it was a uh, it was a slugfest out there, to be quite honest with you. But Columbus comes out on the positive side of the ledger. And it's time for us to take a look at your three stars of the game. And brought to you by the local media here and uh, sponsored by Wade Cleaners, the official cleaners of Scorch and Torch. And, uh, well, when you have local media picking them, you get local stars. Our third star is Justin Barr for the Mississippi Seawolves. Second star, Matt Stoya, who had a pair of goals for the Seawolves. But the first star, hard to deny, Jay Krupp. And uh, Jay Krupp tonight with the hat trick for the River Dragons. And so a big effort out of him. Three goals and an assist, four-point night. Do want to mention Ryan Hunter had a three-assist night. Kyle Moore had a goal and two assists, as did Josh Petrantonio and Kyle Moore. So, you know, three-point nights there for the River Dragons as well. And Austin Doe had himself a three-assist night as well. In a big win like that, 9-5, you know you're going to get uh, a bunch of multiple point scorers. And the, I tell you what, very impressive tonight, that line of uh, Doe, Petrantonio. And uh, let's see, who else do they have in the line tonight? I'm, I'm all of a sudden drawing a blank here. Doe, Petrantonio, and Krupp. There we go. Thank you. Krupp had the hat trick. And uh, I came up with that myself. Thank you, Drew Pierce. 
<laughs> the River Dragons skate out with a 9-5 win here. That's it for the three stars of the game, brought to you by Wade Cleaners. When we come back, we'll wrap up the scoring for you. And then on the other side of that, we have a finals Elmo zipping out of town scoreboard as well. Back with more in a moment. This is the Pepsi Post Game Show on River Dragons Hockey. Is that the sound of an ooey gooey cheesy? We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic Mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. On our sister station, Kissin' 99.3 FM, every Wednesday morning in the 9 o'clock hour. And welcome back to our YouTube folks as well. And uh, let's wrap up the scoring from this one. Quite a bit to get to. Jay Krupp with the hat trick and uh, several multi-point nights for the River Dragons and a couple for the Seawolves as well. It all started off at 9.22 of the first period. Krupp from Doe and Petrantonio and the River Dragons attack was off and running tonight. In fact, Columbus would build a 3-0 lead. 11-22, Sequoia Swan tips in a shot from Brody Duncan coming in for the left point. Kyle Moore with an assist on that goal. It's 2-0. Then at 1509, Josh Petrantonio takes advantage of a puck handling miscue from Seawolves starter uh, goaltender Joe Shepard. Fed it to him in the corner, and Petrantonio puts that one into the yawning goal mouth to make it 3-0. Before the end of the period, however, Justin Barwood scores first of two on the evening to make it 3-1 at the break. Into the second we go, 26 seconds in, Matt Stoya scores his first of two to make it a 3-2 game. Now it suddenly felt like it was going to get interesting, but then the River Dragons really pulled away. Five goals in the second period for Columbus. Starts at 11:59. Krupp on the power play from Petrantonio and Doe. Then Wickline at 13:16 from Slahetka and Hunter. A five-minute major power play against Portillo for charging in a game misconduct. And then the River Dragons went up five on three for two minutes. They score twice on the ensuing power play. 15-03, Moore's goal comes from Storjahan and Hunter. Then a power play marker in the first of his career for Hugh Anderson from Hunter and Moore. Before the end of the frame, Columbus would score again at 1906. Krupp completing the hat trick from Doe. And Popoff getting an assist. And at that point, you know, heading into the intermission, now it's an 8-2 game. Mississippi didn't quit, though. They did score three times in the final frame. Columbus came out. They got the first goal, though. Slahetka at 138 from Duncan and Krupp. And Jay Krupp finishes with four points on the night. But Mississippi whittled their way back in. 224, Stoya's second of the night. That was followed up at 12-11 because Nets a goal. And then at 19-12 to Finish things off. Justin Barr tips home a point shot from Lucas Helland. 9-5 
is your final here tonight in this one. What a finish to this game. Boy, oh, boy. Shots by period for the River Dragons, 13 in the first, 18 in the second, 15 in the third for 46. For the Seawolves, 15, 15, and 13, 43 in the game. Power plays. Columbus finishes 3 for 8, and the Seawolves go 0 for 4. Back with a final look at the Zilmo Zipanata Town scoreboard to wrap it up here in the Pepsi Post Game Show. Stay tuned. More coming your way. This is River Dragons Hockey. Rum dum dum. Get low. Get low. Get low. 369. Ooh, she fine. Hoping she can sing it to me one more time. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. And it is a 9-5 River Dragons win here tonight. Pepsi Post Game Show wrapping things up with a final look back at the Zelmos zip in out of town scoreboard. Zelmos has been fueling life's passion since 1999. Earlier today, an 8-1 win for the Danbury Hattricks over the Elmira River Sharks. It must be route day in the FPHL. 9-5 was our final here. Going on right now, Binghamton and Watertown. This game is important to Watertown. They're playing at home. They're almost to the end of the first period, and that game is tied up at one. In the NHL finals from earlier today, Red Wings 3-1 over the Sabres. Wild blank the Blackhawks 4-0. Hurricane shut out the Blue Jackets 3-0. Second period intermission right now. Coyotes and Sharks are tied at two. Capitals with a 2-1 lead over the Senators. After one, Preds and Devils are even at one. And the Canadians have a 1-0 lead on the Rangers 20 minutes into it. Couple of minutes away from Blues at the Ducks, and then 10 o'clock Eastern time tonight. Stars are at the Avalanche. Major League Baseball final look back at the scores here, and uh, Sunday night baseball game three nothing. Astros lead the Rangers end of the third inning. Everything else is final. Yankees eight three over the Blue Jays. Pirates three two over the Orioles. Three two Nationals beat the Phillies. Five two Braves over the Diamondbacks. Mets three one over the Reds. Seven one Athletics over the Tigers. Five three Royals over the White Sox. 12-4, Brewers beat the Mariners. 10-3, Marlins down the Cardinals. 8-1, Cubs top the Dodgers. 3-2, Rays over the Rockies. 3-2, Giants hold on against the Padres. And the Red Sox beat the Angels 12-2. Guardians at the Twins postponed. River Dragons wrap up the weekend. Two out of three. Columbus has indeed captured first place overall in the FPHL for the year, and they know they're playing Mississippi in the first round of the Commissioner's Cup playoffs and an emphatic 9-5 win for the River Dragons here in the final meeting of the regular season. So the next time we will talk to you for game action is Thursday night from Carolina. It's Thursday and Friday at the Thunderbirds. Then Saturday, 
at home hosting the Thunderbirds to round out the regular season. That is Fan Appreciation Night on April 13th. It's our final family four-pack night where for your $40, you get four tickets to the game, four Pepsi products, four popcorn, four hot dogs. We're not done yet. Four Chick-fil-A coupons. That's over $100 in value for just $40. Family four-packs on sale only through the River Dragons office this week as Columbus wrapping up the regular season on Saturday night at home and then Wednesday the 17th, they will be here for game one against the Mississippi Sea Wolves. All right, my thanks to Emily Green on camera tonight. Drew Pierce, my intrepid producer. Thanks to everybody for tuning us in. We appreciate you being here. That's it for the Pepsi Post Game Show. One more time, your final River Dragons win it over the Sea Wolves 9 5. This is Tom Callahan saying good night. Good night. Thank you for being a part of Columbus River Dragons hockey. This game was brought to you in part by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Columbus River Dragons. Zelmo Zip In, the official fuel provider of the River Dragons. Air Force Heating and Air, the official heating and air company of the River Dragons. Country Inn and Suites, the official host hotel of the River Dragons. And by Chick-fil-A Midland, Tim Hortons, Columbus Diagnostic, Shredaway, The Overby Company, Vector Ply, Trivioli's, The Jersey Shop, Beam TV, WYBU Christian Television Network, Troy University, Largeman Dental, BKI Accounting, The Optical Shop, Piggly Wiggly, Sun South John Deere, Wade Cleaners, 